Morning. Now, I didn't sleep well last night. About half past midnight, there was the most enormous crash noise downstairs. I thought, oh, no, I've been broken into. Ran downstairs. Why, why I think me running into the kitchen in just my bed socks is going to frighten... Well, it would frighten off a burglar, I suppose. But, but what do you think you're going to do? You run downstairs, don't you think, well, what happens if there is somebody in the kitchen? Anyway, I burst into the kitchen. Norman and Nelly, my cat's fast... Like, what are you doing? We're fast asleep. What are you doing? It's the middle of the night. So I have no idea. I walk around the whole house. I have no idea what it was. But the whole house... Maybe it wasn't in my house, but the whole house shook. Anyway, good morning. I'm a bit tired. That's what I'm trying to explain today. Uh, how are you? It is Make It Monday. Would you like to have a look at what we've got lined up for you today? Coming up today on Make It Monday... Soap Special Collection. No, oh, that's a really lovely um, collection of fabrics. It's got brand new fabrics. It's got... It's me on my own at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock... Snap it purses. Joe's here to show you how to. They always sell out. Uh, uh, when we do these purses, uh, uh, they just sell out. They just sell out really, really quickly. And Joe makes some really, really beautiful purses. Ten o'clock, Jim Carner collection. Which, uh, Hannah, just say it for me. Yeah. Uh, Jim Carner. Uh, I've got all these fabrics, all to do with horses. Now, they're very designer esque, may I say. Um, I would say Essence of Gucci, myself. And then at 11 o'clock, Joe's back. Quilt as you go. Uh, always, always, always popular. We've got three quilt as you go, and she's going to show us how to make one of those. Fabulous morning. Now, if you want to get in touch, the best way to get in touch is on our website. So what you need to do is go to www.sewingquarter.com. Here. Then you click on uh, Watch the Show, Watch Today Show. You click on there. I will suddenly become much bigger than I am in real life. And then what happens is if you just scroll down the page, you will see a little box there on the right-hand side saying Message to Studio. All you need to do is type your message in that box. Now, you can keep writing for as long as you like, but at my end, it, it cuts you off after half... Uh, about one and a... Half an hour, I was going to say then. About one and a half sentences. So please keep it brief. While we're on that page, if you just look down there, you see Products from Today Show. They're things Natasha had yesterday. Yeah, she's left the box for that light on my desk, actually. Um, so... Uh, oh! Oh! Then they disappear. So now what will happen is, as I introduce fabrics or kits or bundles or purse clasps, they will appear down there. You can click on them, and if you're watching the show later on, you can just pop them in your basket. Talk about putting them in your basket. You see there, uh, when I'm doing a live auction, the... Um, what I'm showing will be in that box on the right-hand side. You can just add it to your basket from there. Then you go up to your basket, and if you know you want it, I would check out straight away. You own, we only charge one post of packaging of £2.95 for the whole day. For the whole day, so even if you checked out 20 times and you bought a sewing machine and you bought lots of other things, you'd only pay one PMP of £2.95. If, however, you want to get your photograph in or you want to send me a long message, then the way to do that is email. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Now, I've got an offer that I need to tell you about, but I need to be very, very clear about it. What we've got is... Uh, Pair, if you buy something from the web... Now, this you go to the web shop, it can't be anything that's been on air today or in the last 24 hours, but if you buy something from the web shop itself, not anything that appears down here, on the website, go to the shop, and anything that's in there that hasn't appeared on the telly in the last 24 hours, you get a free pair of pinkishes if you spend £20 or more. What you have to do, can you see there, you have to put the code in, free one. Can you see that there? Free one. There you go, there you go, there you go. So, it has to be on the web. It can't be anything that's been on the telly in the last 24 hours. And you have to put in the code free one. And it's while stocks last. Just need you to know that. Just need you to know that. And it's only till tonight. It's only tonight. It's only till tonight. Um, is that it? Are you sure there was anything else? New fabrics. I'm sure there was something else I had to tell you as well. <gasps> Right. Oh, no, I don't think it was about my weekend. I've been very... Well, uh, Hannah and I had a lovely morning on Saturday. We went out on Saturday morning, went shopping. Uh, I bought Hannah a Christmas present. And she's got it already. She didn't want me to take it home and wrap it up. She took it. She went, no, I love it now. Like that. Uh, she was there in the shop when I bought it. But... Right, fabrics, fabrics, fabrics. I'm sure there was something else I had to tell you. What was it, Jay? What, Michael? No, it's for Christmas, because she's not getting a Christmas present as well. Right. Fabrics. This is lovely. You're going to love this. You're going to love this one. 
I'm starting off with... Now, what I'll do is I will go through them and then we'll mix and match with the colours I've got here. <gasps> this... Look at it. Look at it. Uh, so many of you are going to come in for this one. Sewing Supplies Fabric in blue. Well, it's not in blue. It's on white. It's on white, but it's got the... But uh, £7.95 for half a metre. You've got everything there, haven't you? You've got your block, uh, patterns, scissors, thread... Seven ninety five half meter. Now I've got this. You see this? Where are you, Michael? Where are you? Yes. Now you need to get as near to me. Here we go. Yeah, I've got this fabric coming up in this hour. This is a spot on fabric. Got that coming up. Look at. I love it. You got a block there. What block's that, Hannah? It's not a sawtooth. Nearly, Michael. Anyway, anyway, really lovely fabric. It's seven pounds and ninety five pence for half a. 100% cotton. Now, it's like a poplin weight, this one. It's like a poplin weight, this one. Lovely, isn't it? Really, really beautiful. It's from the So Special. I'll just see if it's got anything written here. Uh, so Special by the Whistler Studios. Got 14 colours in there. <clears throat> it's lovely, isn't it? Really, really nice. Lovely fabric, that one. OK, then... I've got... I'll just put that one there. Now, the next one I've got in two colourways. It's called Needles and Pins. In green. This one's in green. Nice, isn't it? Needles and Pins. Isn't there a song called Needles and Pins? Remember, get your messages in. Get all your messages in, if you've got any messages. Uh, needles and Pins. Uh, goes like that. Don't know the rest of it. It is Needles and Pins. This is definitely a song. If you know which, one, which song I'm trying to sing, nobody upstairs is believing me. Give, message me in. Message me in. Tell, needles and Pins. That's how it goes. £7.95. This need, it was a hit. Needles and Pins. £7.95 for half a metre. No, no. It's called Needles and Pins, I think. Then I've got the same fabric in the blue. Now, that had uh, yellow, glass-headed yellow pins. This one's got glass-headed coral pins on this one, on the blue. It's nice, isn't it? Very fresh. Nice poplin weight. 0800-112-4433 is your phone number. Sewingquarter.com. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Uh, the needles are a bit small. No, they're not. They're not actual size. Those be a bit small. Those pins. Yeah. Right. Okay. They say, Hannah, a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Oh, she hasn't got any, so it's fine. <laughs> OK, OK, OK. Now we're moving on to the next fabric. Uh, I've got in two colourways. This one's called Buttons. In blue. That's like Cinderella, isn't it? Oh, Buttons, they've all gone to the ball and I'm just here all alone. I'm a bit old for Buttons. No, I'm... The last time I saw Cinderella, uh, it shows how long ago. Now, Jeremy Beadle was in his, like, old... What's the matter? Oh, what, my voice dropped, my, my sound dropped out. Oh, OK, I was saying, the last time I saw Cinderella, Jeremy Beadle plays Buttons, and he was, like, in his, I don't know, late 50s, and then the girl playing Cinderella was the girl from X Factor, who was 19, and it was all a bit weird, you know, this 55-year-old going, oh, let's go to the ball, Cinderella. He's like, you're old enough to be our granddad. What are you playing at? Anyway, don't go out with him. And I always remember his costume was really... He sat on the edge of the stage and his costume was split. And it was like, oh, no. Anyway, buttons, fabric in blue. Let's move on from there. I hated the panto. Hated that panto. We always used to go to the... I won't say where it was. £7.95. I like that, buttons. I like that. Now, they've got a few too many holes in for my liking, those buttons. Where would you stitch? Where would you put your stitches through? I tell you what, that wouldn't work on. You know on the Elner, on the 680, 
They've got the um, the button feature. We can sew buttons on it. It'll get very confused with that, wouldn't it, with all those buttons? Yeah, that's the point, actually. May no, maybe it's no, not holes. Maybe it's a shank button, and that's a, a pattern on the top. No, you see, no, yes, look, there's a 3D bit there, look. I don't know, I'm talking... I could be talking rubbish again. Right, and here we've got the same uh, one in, in um, coral. Cotton popline. These have all been um, pressed very oddly. No, it's not Jay, it's not Jay, I oh, know it's not Jay. There we go. Buttons fabric in coral. 7.95 for half a metre. It's nice, isn't it? Look lovely in a, in um, I don't know, um, shirt, apron, work blouse. Oh, cummerbund. <laughs> Needles and pins, the searchers, 1964. How have I remembered that, Anne? Oh, and Linda and Rachel, all saying the same thing. Needles and pins. All the, all the messages have just come through all in one, um, one go. Oh, Marcia, what's Marcia got to say? Marcia won't remember because she was in Brazil when it was happening, I think, wasn't it? Oh, nothing's arrived from Marcia, no. Uh, right, the next one. Uh, your ma Marcia, it'll come through in a second. Now, I love this fabric. This is like <clears throat> patchwork, uh, patchwork blocks. I'll start off with the blue, uh, the green one. Green. Yeah, the searchers, yeah. Oh, now Beverly said it was the Ramones needles and pins. Uh, put it in, put it in the thingy and have a look. Oh, so many people saying it's the searchers. Hannah's not even going to bother Googling. Uh, what did Marcia have to say then? Oh, we're having a look. Oh. Uh, Marcia's loving the fabric. I've still got Anne's message. Um, 1964, Anne, how have you remembered that as well? Maybe it was on pot pickers, you know, pot pickers on a Saturday lunchtime. Needles and pins, the searchers sung that in the 60s, Love Leslie in Kent. So Marcia's isn't coming through. Oh, the dream team. Dream team, me and Hannah. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a metal bobbin. Well, it, it might be a metal... Yes, it does look like a metal bobbin, but it's called buttons, Marcia. So maybe you put bobbins on your blouse in Brazil. I'm not sure. But it, now you've said that, I can see a metal bobbin. Because it's sewing, isn't it? It's all about sewing. Because we've had needles, we've had pins, uh, and then we've got the... the um. Oh, Carol thinks they look like bobbins as well, you see. I love a word. I love a word. The buying department in a minute. Uh, th I like this. Isn't it lovely? Let me put my hand in. Blocks. Obviously not to scale. Oh, well, if they were very, very tiny uh, quilts, wouldn't they? Um, half square triangles there. There's, there's, isn't that the sawtooth one? No, that's, that's the one you're thinking of. That's the one you're thinking of, right? <gasps> yeah, oh, OK, let's have a little competition. What's, what are these? That, that's nine patch, isn't it? That's a nine patch half square triangles, that one. I think there's no prizes. There's no prizes, just for fun. Uh, I think that's sawtooth. I'm, I think we've done that one. I think I've done that one with Lucy. Are there others? Or are they just... Oh, no, and then there's that one there, which is a nine-patch... It's not flying geese. No flying geese on that one. It was flying geese on that one there, though, weren't there? Right, Jenny says, Needles and Pins was written by Jack somebody and Sonny Bono. Oh, that's Sonny and Cher, isn't it? It was released by Jackie DeShannon on April the 11th, 1963. Then The Search has released it. Oh, thank you for that, Jenny. Oh, and, and, I'll take that back, what I said earlier. Uh, you're right, uh, Marcia. The Ram oh, Beverly, sorry. The Ramones did a version of it later on. So you're obviously younger. 
The Ramones Diversions on 2. Jill in West Yorkshire. Thank you, Jill. Right, now, this is the block fabric in pink. Oh, no, I think they call it coral, actually, don't they? Look. Needles and pins. Ah. Coral, not pink. It's coral. It's pink, but it's, they're calling it coral. Now, do you know what I need? I need... Is it cheeky pink? No. What pink's that, do you think? Pepper pink? Is it baby pink? I don't know. We'll have a look in a minute. Pepper pink's something completely different, Joe. Joe's going, Pepper pink! It's Pepper pink! Or pink pink. It could be pink pink. Oh, I'd love pinks in my field behind my house. Apparently they're very noisy pinks. Spot on. I've got one here. I've got one here. There's another spot. I think Joe's got it in her next hour, hasn't she? Could you could you nick the pink what pink dot has Joe got in her hour? Anyway, moving on to the blue now. Moving on to the blue. Oh, this is nice. Oh, do you know what? I thought green was my favourite, but I'm thinking I might like the blue. Oh, sorry, I'll just waft it into shape. There you go. Sorry. Which is your favourite? I like... Oh, I'm a bit confused now. Hannah's going to get half a metre of each of them. We haven't shown that one yet. Hannah's saying, this is my favourite, and I haven't even shown it yet. How she knows what I've got in my basket, I don't know. OK. Right, then I've got uh, three uh, stitches. Th these are called stitches. This is, this is stitches on green. Now, look, this is like, you know, when the, when the designers use the 680, or any of the machines, but the 680 especially, they do a little, like Tilly does it, and... Um, Lucy does it. You know, they do like a sampler of all the um, decorative stitches. That's nice, isn't it? It's a lovely green as well. It's very fresh green, that one. Fresh. That's another song. And exciting, that's it. Fresh, fresh and exciting. That's, that's, there's an awful lot of no one words of all these songs. And yet, when I listen to that programme on a, on a Saturday afternoon on Radio 2. I can sing along to all these tunes and then go, yep, that was number one 47 years ago. And you're like, how do I remember that? Michelle, morning, John. I live on a pig farm. And, yes, they're very noisy when they are being fed. Lots of love, Shelley in Lincolnshire. Cos I was just talking about pigs being noisy. You see, Shelley listens to me, Hannah, which is very unlike my producer. Right, now I've got stitches on coral. Oh, now the next one will be interesting. Oh, has it? OK. This is stitches on coral. Now, uh, you need to know that the stitch is going diagonally across the fabric. Because there they look like they could be straight, don't they? But they're literally... Here's the selvages, look, in the, in the centre. They're going diagonally across the fabric. Just so you know. It's a very soft coral, that one, isn't it? OK. And then... Now, when we came in this morning, the next one was also called Stitches in Green, but Hannah's had it changed to... Multi, which is exactly what it is. I like... This is my favourite. I'd have a shirt made out of this one. Oh, the plastic tie's not arrived yet, then. Look. Wouldn't that look lovely in a shirt? Or oh, blouse. You can have it in a blouse if you want. It's nice, isn't it, like that? Because you've got all the different colours in there. You're going to be able to mix and match. 7 95 for half a metre. 100% cotton. Nice. Really lovely, that one, isn't it? Right, then I've got one more, which you are going to absolutely love, and it's going to fly off the shelves. This is Hannah's favourite, my favourite. Now, we've done tape measure fabric before, but never anything like this. 
And also, as Jay pointed out, normally the tape measures go across the fabric. On this, oh, now this one feels a bit wider. I better measure this one. Oh, actually, do you know what I meant to do? I better measure. Oh, yes, Jay was meant to be getting my tape measure out of my drawer about an hour ago. Um, he's gone, right, don't worry, he's run. He's just run to get it. I better check the measurement of all of them, actually. Yeah, I've got loads of tape measures there, haven't I? Thank you, Jay. Oh, no, 44, 45. Yeah, it's the same. I just thought it felt wider, that one. Maybe it's because... Look! We love this. We love this. And the tape measure's going up and down the fabric, not across the fabric, like usual. Are they accurate, Hannah's saying? Right, let's make, put... Seven is there, right? Oh, yes. Oh, and well, they're about an eighth of an inch off. Oh, no, 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 I tell a fib, they are. No, no, they're off. No, no, they go off a bit now. So I wouldn't use them to measure with. Also, this tape measure is only 23 inches long. That one's 35 inches long. I love that. Now, imagine, Jean, are you giving away the free sewing kits with the first order? Lots of love, Jean. Yes, Jean, if your first order is over £10, you get one of these. You don't have to put in a, a code or anything. If it's your first order and it's over £10... Now, Jay, is it all in there? You get this. Tape measure. Oh, it's on that side. Tape measure, scissors, safety pins, buttons, quick unpick needles, thread. That comes free if your first order... It has to be your first order. It has to be over £10, not including posting packaging. Right, who's going to make me a shirt out of this? Paul. I wonder if Paul's watching. Look. Paul. Because also the stripe's going down, which is very flattering for somebody with a rotund tummy like mine. It's a bit bloated today, I have to say. It's a bit sore today. I can't tell you. I went to meet my friend Dulcie yesterday. And she said, oh, can we go to Hidcut? You know, like... Oh, I wasn't going to say where it was. Never mind, I'll finish that story another time. <laughs> but anyway, she's a member of the Astro Trust and I'm not. Right? So we were only going... It was so late, we weren't going around the house. We were literally going for a cup of coffee, right? I had to pay £13 to get in, just to have a cup of coffee. <laughs> so I made her buy the hot chocolate. I love this fabric. I love this fabric. It's beautiful, isn't it? Tape measure fabric from So Special Range. 7 95 for half a metre. Right, OK, that's it. That's it now. I've shown you all the fabrics, so you can start checking out your baskets. But what I might do now is I might, I've got a lot of um, spectrum solids and some spot-ons. Should we do some mixing and matching? Yes! OK, let me just... I'll just do, do a double-check for you and then I can tell you now whether I want you to... Don't look! No, 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 I don't want that one, thank you. Thank you, Jay, for doing that. <laughs> Well caught. Yeah, Jay caught it. He caught it. Right. Shouting at me now. Don't throw the fabric. If Jay's there to catch it, it's fine. Right, let's open this up. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. If you want me to ring HR, Jay, I will do for you. Oh, they're in today. It's the meeting. It's Monday, isn't it? I'm not used to doing Mondays. Uh, it's Monday. I'll get HR onto her later for you. Right, this has a direction, by the way. This has got a direction, look, because all the sewing machines are facing... I'm not surprised it's the most... Popular. Well, I think tape measures will catch up with it in a minute. Now you've seen tape measures. So we love this because... Where are we? We've got sewing machines. We've got basic blocks. We've got pins, scissors, threads, buttons. Right, has it got the bobbin or a button on here? Jean, oh, Jean, 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 I've got a message from Anne. The sewing kit is brilliant, good quality. There you go, Jean, that's from Anne. Um, no, those buttons have got... Oh, there it is, it is a bobbin. It is a bobbin, because the buttons are there, look. Right, but that means the fabric's named wrong, doesn't it? Like, not ours, we haven't done that, they've done that. Oh, look, there's a sleeve block there. I quite like bobbin, the word bobbin. I like bobbin, I would call it tape measure. 
Um, anyway, 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 what I was going to say to you was, I think I've got this um, spot on. Here, look. Look. How brilliant would that be? Oh, excuse me, hiccup. So, Hannah, have you got that one there? Yes, now this is the weird one, right? Because in real life, that's not cobalt, is it? But they call it cobalt. The people who make it call it cobalt. And then you've got the same spice across the bottom there. So this fabric here is 7.95 half metre. This one here is 4.95 half metre. But wouldn't that be brilliant? Wouldn't that be absolutely brilliant to see it with that? What colour's on the pin cushion? Let me have a look. Oh, actually... Oh, I don't know if it's the right colour. Oh, but you know what? No. Um, has Joe <laughs> got coral spot on in the other room? Oh, papaya, that might work. Oh, but there's pink there, there's a pink one there. There's a pink one there. I just saw a pink one, didn't I? Oh, I thought we had two pink... Oh, yes, I did, there it is, there it is, no, 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 there it is, there it is. Oh! Sorry, so that's the blue spot on there. Look at the pink. I'm just doing mixing and matching, as in, wouldn't that look lovely? So this is cheeky pink, this one. This is cheeky pink. By the half metre, 4 .95. And the one underneath is obviously sewing supplies. And then this one here was cobalt. Cobalt, right? I think if we can get the papaya off Joe, that might be brilliant. Right, what else have we got in here? Let's just, let's have a look what else we've got in here. Um, now, I've got a really, really lovely, the tape measure yellow, that's coming up later. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What have we got here? I'm going to confuse. Look! I'm matching, mixing and matching. So now, so that's cobalt blue. That's cheeky pink in spot on. This is a spectrum solid. That's called flamingo. That's called Flamingo. Oh, oh, this is perfect. Now, are you able to load up the... Um... Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. OK, that's fine. That's the Flamingo Solid Spectrum there. 325, half metre. I don't think... Oh, oh, oops, my bad, sorry. Love all these colours together. Then... Oh, right. There's so many you can choose from, right? Which, depending on which one. This one is Coral Spectrum Solid. Look, all of these go so beautifully, don't they? Look. There's the Spectrum Solid in Coral. Oh, now, if you're oh, looking on the web, it looks completely different, apparently. That's a bit dark on the website. Three pounds and twenty-five pence for half a meter. And then, uh, now this isn't this isn't cornflowers. This is called um, blue sea. I know the whole collection is brilliant. This look, there's the blue sea look. Oh, these are lovely. I'm not going to put the greens in. Oh, maybe I will. No, no, no. I'm not going to put the greens in. I'm not going to put the greens in. That's blue sea there, that one. All of these will appear underneath. If, obviously, if there's anything you want to see else with it, just let me know. I'm just wondering now. Oh, Paul Shirtmaker. Morning, John. Yes, watching as always. As soon as I get your measurements, I can start making your shirts. Loving the tape measure fabric too. That's Paul who works here, you know, Paul. We're on, we've got two shows together. We've got two shows together. Uh, he's on three times this month. He's on with me twice. And I either Natasha or Amy is on with the other time. So I'll get him to... Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway. So this now is sunshine spot on. Put everything in, sorry. I've got... Uh, no, Primrose, but Primrose is a bit paler. OK, now, Michael, could you pan out and so we can see all of those fabrics? Is that possible? 
Take all the graphics out because it's going to get very confusing otherwise. And I'll tell you what all the colours are. OK, so this is Flamingo Spectrum. This is Sunshine Spot On. This is Cobalt Spot On. This is Cheeky Pink Spot On. This is Coral Spectrum. And this is Sea Blue. Blue Sea. Blue Sea. Spectrum Solid. Oh, oh, yes. Then there's this one. Now, this isn't in this show. This isn't meant to be in this show, right? We've sneaked in because it's in Joe's show later. But let me move all those out of the way. Look at that with the um, pin cushion. Yeah? That's papaya. Spot on. 4.95 half a metre. You could make that pin cushion if you wanted. Yeah, because there's the blue. There's the blue from underneath. There's the papaya from the top. And then the pins, you can buy the pins from here. We've got the red, we've got yellow headed pins still or not? We had yellow, we've got definitely got red headed pins. Right, okay, now I'm going to take that out because Jay has to use that to, um, Jay has to give that to Joe. I'm not going to throw it, don't worry. Jay has to use that, give that to Joe because she's making it in the other room. Right, okay, I've spent way too long on that one fabric. I do apologise. I do apologise. Uh, right, that goes there. Uh, this is the most popular of all the new fabrics. Do you know what? I'm going to jump straight to tape measures, if that's all right. Because that's the second most popular. Gonna be popular. I know what that is. That's from Wicked, and it's when Galenda does a makeover on Elphaba. Right, tape measures. I, don't, I think this fabric's got a sense of humour, hasn't it, this, fa this fabric? I think. Paul, John needs a cotton shirt for Christmas Day, not those uncomfortable ones he bought in a rush in July. <laughs> I've got to buy those, wear those uncomfortable ones, because obviously today, even though the Christmas decorations are here, there's not a Christmas theme today, so I haven't got a Christmas sh shirt on. But there will be days. Mind you, Christmas Day, Jay will be wearing a fancy dress costume. And what we're going to do... He doesn't know this is not in the room, right? When he's on air, Hannah's going to sneak down and steal his real clothes. So he has to go home wearing his Christmas outfit. It's all japes. It's all good fun. Right, OK, so let's have a look for some colours on here. Um... What's the matter? Right, I'm going with, to start with, we've had these two already. We've got Flamingo. It's if you want to be literal, isn't it? That's Flamingo, right? Then this one is a Blue Sea. Blue Sea Lucy. So I'll have to remember that one. Oh, but do you know what? I might be a little bit, um... Well, it's not controversial exactly, is it? But needles and pins... ..goes nicely with it, doesn't it? Look. Maybe the cuffs could be in that. This is needles and pins in blue. 7.95 half a metre. This is tape measure fabric. 7.95 half a metre. That's flamingo. That's blue sea. I'm not sure. Oh, yes, I might put a spot on with it, actually. Uh, sorry, uh, the, we haven't done this one yet. It's sand. Is it sand or stone? No, it was in the pile. Oh, yeah. No. See, that's nice as well, isn't it? That looks nice. Oh, now, you know the other yellow I didn't use earlier? Primrose. Let me take let me take uh, needles and pins out, and I'll put primrose. Oh yes, that's nice. Primrose in is nice. Look. Oh, I like this. I like this block colours with it. Yes, and then 
the cheeky pink again. Oh, no, uh, is that cheeky pink? Yeah. There. And I'm going to take the flamingo out and I'm going to leave the cheeky pink in. There you go. I'll just bring... Shall I bring that one into shot a little bit like that? Yeah. So, at the moment, I'll, I'll go through it like I did the last time, right? So, this is spot on uh, cheeky pink. This is spot on primrose. That spot on sand. And that's blue sea spectrum solid. Well, I, th I think they work lovely. Do you know what you could do? You could fussy cut the tape measures and applique them onto these. Well, when you when you uh, Hannah had a flu jab this week and she's not very well with it. Mind you, I had my remember I had my flu jab last week, and when I did when I did it, it went. <laughs> Like that, and I was like, ooh. And she said, don't worry, it does that to stop you bleeding and everything. Anyway, Hannah's didn't do that. She didn't bleed, but her arm is like this, and it's hot. I think there might be an issue with that one. I'm thinking the doctor might not have given her the flu jab. He's given her, you know. Anyway. So if any of you are doctors, don't panic her. Anyway, I had a lovely day out. Jay, you'll have to come next time. We had a lovely morning out on Saturday. Didn't we, Hannah? Really nice day. She took me to a shop I've never been to before. Um, uh, uh, she knew where everything was. Oh, this side here is hair straight. No, not hair straight. What the, hair detanglers. This is the range from India. This, she knew everything. This is, the, uh, this is the Halloween department. She said, don't go there. That's Christmas department. She's not quite ready yet. And so she's worked there. She loves it. She loves it. Right, let's do, let's do basic block... Not basic block. Let's do um, patchwork blocks now. And I've got a rewards card for there as well. I didn't realise. I didn't buy anything, though. It was too much. You know when you go in, there's too many things you want. So I didn't buy anything in the end. In fact, did I... Oh, yeah, yeah the only thing I bought was um, Hannah's Christmas present. And that wasn't from that... That was from a different shop. Right. Oh, yes, we loved the camel, the giant camel. Was it made out of leather? Oh, I loved the camel. I really loved the camel. Reminded me of my days in Morocco. Right, OK, so this is blocks in green. So I could do with a solid yellow, actually. I think that's in my next hour, though, isn't it? Isn't that in my 10 o'clock? In my 10 o'clock or my 9 o'clock? <laughs> uh, no, has Jo got a yellow one in her hour? Go and ask Jo if she's got a yellow one. Right, let's do greens then. Let's have a look at my greens, first of all. Right, we haven't seen these yet. So these are new to us. So this one... Fern. She hasn't got yellow. OK, I'm not sure. Oh, I know what I could do. I'll do a yellow spot on then. Uh, and then the paler one... Is gra mint, 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 mint. I knew that. Mint. Okay. Now um, I do apologise on the web. If you look on the web, this is mint. That is fern. Okay. Then just to lift that, I think I might add a bit of sunshine. Yeah. Poor old Hannah having to press her. so many buttons up there. Oh, yes, and she's using... Why did you get them to put it in your right arm? Oh, are you? No, I never knew that. I never knew that you were left-handed, Hannah. It's because, it's because nobody writes anymore these days, do they? Do everything like that. So you don't have to... You, don't, you know. But you can put the mouse on that side. Oh, up there. Oh. Look. They look like... Oh, hang on, I haven't got enough of the... Gr look. So, mint, fern, sunshine. I think they might be the only three I'd mix and match, you know. 
Yeah. Look at the time. I've been through... I'm taking way too long this morning, aren't I? I do apologise, everybody. I know. We've got 16 minutes, Joe will be here. Well, no, 19 minutes, Joe will be here, because we have to have a three-minute break, don't we? So that's green blocks. That's lovely. That is lovely, isn't it, the green blocks? Go with your instinct. That was my favourite. But then I love these. This is blue blocks. Blue blocks. Blue blocks, Suzanne, je suis enchanté. Happy to see you, Bleiberes, this day, bitch, Wagen. It's from, um, uh, that's that uh, cabaret, that. Right, which blue should we go with? This blue? Which is the cobalt, spot on. Blue blocks, cobalt. And then I need to lift it with a coral. Let's have a look. Have a butchers. So this is your cobalt spot on. This is your blocks fabric in blue. This is your coral spectrum solid. You see, I kind of want to. Um, I kind of want to do something like. I don't know if it'll work. No. I need to. It needs lifting, doesn't it? It kind of needs lifting a little bit, and I can't. Decide how to lift it. Anyway. OK, that's the coral there. It's just there. They look lovely together, don't they? OK, moving on. Because I've got, I've got to do blocks in coral. Oh, yes, I'll go back to that. I'll, I'll recap that in a second for you. The outright winner at the moment is the very first fabric with the sewing machines on it and everything like that. Right, let's have a look. So this was... Now, they call this coral, but I think it goes really beautifully with the baby pink. No, no, not baby, cheeky pink, cheeky pink, cheeky pink. If I put it into shot, there you go. I'll help, don't worry. Yeah, that was coming. And then would that go with the um, blue sea? Yep. Nice, blue sea. So this is the uh, cheeky pink. This is the blue sea. And that's the blocks in coral. Nice. Think of all the things you can make with all of these. OK, let me put those away, those away, those away. Right, I'll just do the needles and pins now, if that's all right with you. Needles and pins in green. It's a nice fresh green, that one, isn't it? Now, I think... Uh, I think I just teamed that with this one. Oh, is it the right yellow? Let me have a look. Oh, that's pretty. So I do the sunshine spot on with the pins and needles in green, I think. That, oh, that's lovely and bright, isn't it? Nice, fresh, isn't it? Oh, thank you. I kind of want another... Oh, we haven't... No, we've got, um... Uh, not vintage white, what's it called? Yeah, vintage... No. Antique white coming up later, and antique white would look nice in there as well. It's coming up later, the antique white. OK? So that's needles and pins in green. Got needles and pins in blue now. Which I'd be tempted to put with the coral. Or, let me have a look. So that, oh no, that looks nice. It's the table, it's the table making that noise, not me. That's uh, flamingo, coral flamingo and pin... I like those three together. Nice. That's the flamingo. That's the coral. That's the pins and needles in blue. Nice. OK, then, now we've got to go on to buttons. 
right? But then we've decided they're not buttons, they're bobbins. But that's the name that the company have given it, so we can't, I can't change that. This you could put with any colour, couldn't you, really? Let's have a look. Oh, all right, before we go to buttons, I've got a warning, a stock warning for you. Oh, already? Right, over half the stock of this gone. Over half the stock of this one's gone. So, which means you're fine, which means you're fine, but we'll just check baskets now. Very, very popular. More than half the stock of that's gone. If you have got any basket, you do need to check out. Nice, okay. Back to the bobbins. Well, it's called buttons, but they're really bobbins, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they really, really are bobbins. Now, Hannah, what colour would you... I'll let you make a design decision now. Can you put... Which one? Oh, this one? You can. OK, this is Hannah's choice. Oh, Mike agrees with you downstairs. Well, it's, it's very spot on, isn't it? The whole... Um... Yeah. Hannah likes it, that's the main thing. But we'll get rid of it now. And I'll put this one with it, Fern. You see, I'd put Fern... We had them in prep. Hannah said it was not fair because you've got them in front of you. Right, I would put Fern and I would either put... And I'd put the, this, this spot on, which I don't know if we've seen this one yet, have we? Primrose. Oh, it has been on. There, that's what I... So that's Fern in the Spectrum Solid. That's Primrose in the spot on. And that's Buttons in the um, So Special range. I like that. It's very fresh, isn't it, that one? Fresh and exciting. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing stitches in a minute. Are you hurrying me along now? Oh, yes. I've got nine minutes. It's forever, that. Right, so... Oh, I'll just have to show... I've got, still got buttons. Um, terracotta to show you as well, very quickly. At uh, Coral, even. Right, what colour would you put with this? I think I'd put the blue and the... Gr oh. No. Oh. That one. Mint. Oh, no, I'll tell you what I'd like even more. Oh, sorry, that's mint, that's mint, that's mint. That's mint in the Spectrum Solid. That's the coral buttons. That's the one I'd put with it. Sand spot on. Sand spot on's the one I'd put it with it. That's nice. I'm being told to hurry up because I've got still loads to show you. Right, stitches in green. Is this one. Now, remember, the stripes on this go diagonally. The pattern on this one goes diagonally <laughs> across the fabric on this one. Ooh. Spoilt for choice now. I think I'd put this. Oh. Cheeky pink with it. Cheeky pink, I think, looks rather lovely with that. Going across the bottom of your screen right now. Or, if you didn't go cheeky pink, I'd go... Um, coral. Oh, or... No. OK. Oh, dear. Poor old Joe. She got stuck on the um, motorway this morning. Right, OK, that's that, that's that, that's that. Uh, stitches in coral. Remember, the, the stripes do go diagonally across the fabric on this one. 
Oh, no, I might be a bit... Um, let me look at that one. No, no, I like that one. Hannah's not sure. Well, that's because this is, this is the colour of Mike's skin and this is the colour of Mike's hair, isn't it? Yes. Um, oh, Jay. Jay's arrived, everyone. Anyway, I've got to move on because I've got the stitches in multi now. Very, very... Po oh, do you know what? I might be a bit controversial with this as well now. So that stitches in multi, which I love. Right? I'd put those two together. I would indeed. Yep, two of the front runners up there together. But the thing is, with, the, that, with this multicoloured one, you could choose anything. You could have pinks, yellows, greens, blues, sa uh, the sand. They're all in there. They're all in there, the colours, aren't they? Oh, here we go. Hannah's getting creative. Needle cases, travel bags. For your sewing stuff, for your sewing stuff. Right. OK, so I'll put this one back out because this is the most popular. It's got a kind of, even though it's modern and fresh, it's got a kind of vintagey feel to it, hasn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Hannah says, it looks like you, John. Old. That's nice. Classic. No, I'd rather be old than classic, thank you. Uh, I love that. Retro. <laughs> That's a bit sad, isn't it? Um, what are you buying it for? Let me know, let me know, let me know. You've only got a couple of minutes, let me know, actually, because I've got to go. I've got four minutes left. I'm just tidying up as I go along, because otherwise we'll never get the table cleared. Right, so this one's at number one. And... Oh! Cobalt spot on. Oh, that's because it matches with that, isn't it? That's cobalt spot on. I haven't used this, this other pink very much today. Have I? No, it's all right. We might keep them out for later as well. Keep those out on the table, Jay, for me, won't you? Then the next one. So those are the two most popular. Then in, in the next row, uh, the next place. Next. What am I trying to say? No, I don't know either. Tape measures. Nice, isn't it? Uh, lots of you have got this. I'd say that again. Oh, loads of you got this in your basket. I'm all, well, now, if each of those people buy a metre, are we all right? Of course. Somebody just said they want to see how, what you get for half a metre, John. Because remember, that 7 95 is for half a metre. There you go. Lots. Yeah, lots. If you're going to use it for um, a crafting project, there's lots of fabric there in half a metre, isn't there? Remember as well, when you get buy fabric like this cut off the, uh, off the roll, you do get in a lovely box wrapped in tissue paper. That's how to arrive at your house. It's a nice sturdy box. Lots of people use those as um, storage after the show as well. After the delivery, I mean. OK. Please, please, please check out your baskets. That's all we're saying. Oh, and then the multicolour... Uh, do you know what? The multicoloured stitch would look nice with that one as well, wouldn't it? Hang on. Oh, actually, do you know why they'd work? It's because, as well as the colours... One's cut on the... You're not cut. One's got the pattern on the diagonal and one's got the pattern on the straight. So that's nice, isn't it? Jake, get that mouse. That's the table. We need some dumb... What's it called, that? WD-40. That's what we need. Um, I love those two together. So that's the, this is the stitches. The one on the top here is the stitches. That one there is the tape measure. 
Nice. Oh, we're on the move. To have a look at all those stitches, details. Uh, what I should have done, of course, I should have gone, if you've got the 680, this is number 78, this is number 13, this is number 44. Oh, I was pointing there, but you can't see it, so it's over there. Right. Right, make sure you check out your baskets. If you want to see, I'm going to keep all these fabrics around because if you want to see any of them again in my, not the next hour, because it's Joe's hour the next hour, but I'm back with fabric, with lovely horsey fabric uh, in the next hour. But I'll keep them around in case we do a, a, a roundup or something. I'll also keep these about because I'd like to mix and match those with um, other things. Yeah. Poor old Hannah, let's have to deal with that. Anyway, don't go anywhere. Joe's up next. Now, in Joe's show, I mean, there was Joe's show's always sell out, but she's doing little, um, you know, purse bags, clasps, and things like that. Um, it's a little box with loads of clasps in it. She's going to show you how to make uh, a purse out of it. In fact, she's doing a bigger, uh, like a clutch purse to go out in the evening with, or a makeup bag or anything. Uh, really, really lovely. And I've got fabrics, and I've got a couple of bundles. Um, so don't go anywhere. Joe will be up straight after the break. Watch these important messages and be back here for me and Joe. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a ladder stitch. Now this is a great stitch when you want to sew something up and create an invisible stitch. But first of all, I'm just going to use the example of something like a pincushion, but I need to bring these two edges together using the invisible stitch, which is known as the ladder stitch. So first of all, I'm going to take my needle up through the fold. So I'm going to be concealing the knot in the thread. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle in through the fold of the fabric and come out. So you can see that I'm on the actual fold there, so obviously there's the, the raw edges are inside my pincushion. I'm going to take that through. Now I'm going to go to the opposite side and repeat that stitch. So I want to make sure that this is parallel. So I'm going to come in through that fold and come out. So again, I'm making these stitches really big so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see how I'm going across the whole of the fabric. If I just keep doing a few stitches. So as you can see, we have the ladder stitch there going across the two pieces of fabric. So when I pull my thread, you can see that almost makes those stitches invisible. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the sewing quarter worth £14.99. Join us on Wednesday the 4th of October as we give new guest designer Jenny Smith a very warm welcome to our team. Jenny's sewing skills know no bounds. She's a talented quilter, dressmaker, pattern designer and teacher and her home decor is second to none. For her debut show, she will be creating a hothouse flower cushion and a beautiful sweet bouquet quilt. Join us in welcoming Jenny to the channel for two hours of expert advice and lots of fun. That's Wednesday the 4th of October at 9am and 11am only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Did you see that dress that Jenny was wearing? That was the Anna Maria um, Echinacea fabric, wasn't it? It was lovely. Uh, I think I'm on... It was, did you say she was in on Friday or Saturday? Uh, I'm on with her then. Uh, that'd be lovely. Um, and I'll make sure the quilt's hanging properly when she's on with me. Isn't this cute? Isn't this just so cute? Love that fabric in there. Right. What we're doing this hour is Joe Carter's here. 
looking resplendent in an ochre top. Oh, I've got to do this first. I've got to do this first. I keep forgetting, right? Um, have a look, right? If you spend over £20 or over, not including post packaging, on the web shop, now that's, it's get a little bit misleading. It's not anything that's underneath me on the web. It's in the web shop that hasn't been on air in the last 24 hours. Spend 20 pounds or over and you'll get a free pair of pinking shears. All you need to do is put the code FREE1 when you check out and it's while stocks last. But it finishes tonight anyway, all while stocks last. Right, get back on, get on back on with this. Right, these, I need to warn you, I've done these two or three times. I know Natasha's done them uh, with Joe a couple of times. Every single time we do it, these sell out, right? So what you get is you get what's in this box and you get those instructions, right? Are you ready? Are you close up on the desk? Are you ready? You ready? Look, I mean, I know it doesn't work. You get, look. Get two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those, and two of those. Two, four, six, eight, ten clasp handles. You get the little square ones. They're like for like um, uh, glasses cases, aren't they? That's a real cute um, little uh, money purse, that one. That's the one I think we've... Oh, no, that's not the one we've done today. We've got, I've got samples these to show you. Then a square one, and then the bigger square one, which is the one we've used today. <gasps> All of those and the instructions of how to make it... 18.95. That's why. That's why they sell out. Now, I know, well, the Christmas trees are up, but what a fantastic Christmas presents. And you get the instructions on how to make the purses to the fabric to go in those clasps. It's brilliant. 18.95. Um, now, if you want them, before I've even shown the fabric, what I would do is I put them in the basket and check out, or I'd call now. I'm just, I'm only telling you because every, every single time we do it, they sell out. Right, so look, what does that make it? Like, one pound, there's ten, right? One pound, 89 and a half P each. That can't be right, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? But that's right. That's right, that's... Yeah. Um, isn't that brilliant? Isn't that brilliant? So I thought I'd show you those and the price before I start showing the fabric so I've got on offer today. Yeah, you see there's loads of you there already. Loads of you there already. I'll leave all those there. I'll put those. Right, now this, right, this is one Joe's already made. Right, and we thought, oh, that's gorgeous. We'll just bundle those two fabrics together for you. So we've done a little bundle of the fabrics. So you buy the clasp separately, then you can buy this automatically as a bundle here. Oh, I just slide off the pile of fabrics. Half a metre of each tilde flower tree, half a metre of tilde flower tree, half a metre of the spot on raspberry, £12.45. and pence. I know. Right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on there and put that there. Then the other bundle that you're about to see Joe actually um, show us how to make, that's this one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. this one. Tilda Birds. Now, this is Tilda... Well, it doesn't matter. You'd have to... Uh, I'll tell you when we do the fabrics in a minute. So you get a metre of fabric, the Tilda Birds in the green there. £10.45 and pence for a metre. You get half a metre of each, obviously. OK. Now, I'm glad you're listening to me. I'm glad you're listening to me. Crazy amounts of people have already checked this out their basket. Because you only pay one P&P. So if you know you definitely, definitely, definitely want it... You need to check out straight away. It, they do fly out. They, well, you can see that today. They do absolutely fly out. Right, now, what we've done is we've also got single pattern fabrics here that you could use to make these um, purses with. Before I do that, this is... I've got this, right? This is a tilde. Now, these are fat eighths. And I'll show you what a fat eighth looks like in a second. That's better. Oh, look, there's Betty. Was it Betsy? Bessie. Bessie. That's Bessie in purple, that one underneath there. This is the, like the trees that I've just shown you, but in the um, spice and pink. No, no, it's it ginger, ginger and pink. Right, so you get 20 fat eights. I'm just going to take one out for you so you can see how big a fat eight is. What it is, is you know how they get fat quarters. They take a metre of fabric, cut it down the middle, cut it down the middle, and there's four of them, they're fat quarters. So what they then do is then cut those in half to make you a fat eight. So in each fabric, you get 20 pieces of all that size. 20 pieces of that size. 
Now, I'll show you quickly, go through the patterns with you, because a lot of people get angry with me that I don't show them, then they sell out and they've missed out on it. So you get 20 different pieces of fat eighths. They're called fat eighths. So you get the ginger and pink tree. You get the uh, bird flowers on a cream background. You get the ginger flowers. You get Bessie in ginger. You get that lovely period looking one there. This is the cabbage one. It's not giving it. No. There's the trees again in green. Trees are green. Then you've got this one, which is the flower bush in green. Oop, hang on, there's another one underneath there. There's the, the now I've got that later on in, uh, by the half metre, if you like that one. There's the cabbage in the blues. There's the trees in the blues. You're getting 20 pieces. Oh, love, 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 love that one. And then carrying on to the pink ones as well. Look at that. And what percentage is that then, Hannah? There you go. People are you're listening to me, and I love that. Um, people, the, the, the clasps, people are checking out, checking out, checking out. So please be careful. Right. 49.95. You get 20 pieces, fat eight pieces there. They're 27 by 50 centimetres. OK? Right, now let me take you very quickly, because I know Jo wants to get on, and she's um, got to make the person and show us how to make it. The fabrics I've got available, this is the one from that bundle. If you didn't want to bundle it with the green and you want to put it with your own fabric, this is the first one. This is Tilda, Birds in Lilac, I think it is, isn't it? I know it's confusing, because when you see the green one in a minute, 7 95 for half a metre, but I am limited. Oh, no, I'm limited with the green one, aren't I? Oh, because this is in a bundle, I'm now limited with this one as well. So that, we only just looked, the harvest, just for you didn't know, is Tilda's latest range. And we launched it, a couple, I launched it a couple of weeks ago here. Right, then this one, if you didn't want to put it with the raspberry spot on, you've got something else you wanted to go with. This is lovely, isn't it? Tilda, flower tree, now they've called it purple, they've called it purple, but it's definitely a cyclamen pink, isn't it? Seven ninety-five for half a meter. Okay, then I've got the bush tree, Tilda bush tree, in teal. I'll just get rid of the fluff off there. Please. Teal, seven ninety-five for half a meter. Okay, then I've got the birds. Now this is Tilda birds in green. This one. It's nice. Isn't it? Now this one's limited. This one is limited. There we go. Oh, OK, when I say limited, there's less than 10 metres of that. Now, obviously, you're only going to need maybe half a metre if you're going to make a couple of bags out of it. So, but please be careful. Please be careful. That means only 20 of you would better buy it if you all bought half a metre, wouldn't you? Right, then we move on to this. Now, I launched this uh, Dashwood Fabric last uh, week, or was it the week before now? It's lovely, isn't it? This is Flowers White, I think this one's called, isn't it? Even though the flowers are blue. 650 for half a metre. Copenhagen white flower fabric, 650. 100% cotton. OK, I love this next one coming up. And I like this teamed with emerald green. This one's called Seeds. It's nice, isn't it? I thought they were corn on the cobs when I first saw it. At £6.50 for half a metre. OK, that's Dashwood as well in the Copenhagen, Copenhagen range. Wonderful, wonderful, Copenhagen, do-ba-dee-doo-da-da. -da. This is butterflies in the same range. Oh, um, one job. This is butterflies in the same range. Oh, no, there's some going the other way. 6.50. And then last but not least, I love this one. This is the same range. Graphics coming in. At six pounds and fifty pence. It's called the blue leaf fabric, that one. Six fifty for half a metre. Nice, isn't it? Uh, then I've got some spectrum solids and spot-ons to show you later, but I really will do uh, some of those. I, we need to get Joe started. This is the this is the bundle of clasps that comes with the instructions that you're gonna get. Right, can I just warn you that over 70 people have checked out already? Over 70 people have checked out already. I'm not surprised. £18.95, all the 10 class and Joe's instructions. 
Didn't I say she looked good? You look lovely. Thank Say you. about the bottom half. Well, yeah, nobody sees that. Oh, I said that. it off air, didn't say on air. <laughs> no, I said she looked resplendent earlier, didn't I? Uh, hello. Hello. Mwah. Right, I forgot to ask you earlier, how was your party? It was good. Was it? Yeah. Seems like quite a long time ago now. It was only like a week and a two bit. Oh, was <laughs> two it two weeks, weeks ago? Yeah. Have, not... have you been in since? Is this I have, first... I was in last Saturday. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, I wasn't in the weekend, was I? Right. I love these and I love the fact that you can choose your own fabrics. So I'll just show you a couple of the others before we start. Um, now, I haven't got the fabrics these are made out of are from previous shows, but I just, oh, I'll show you like this, first of all. These are the dis different clasps, you see, different sizes that you get, the Joe's, but purse that Joe's made in the past. There's that one. There's that one. Then this is the one I like. That's the glasses case one. Or pencil case. Now, remember, you're getting two of each clasp. You're getting two, you are getting two of each clasp. As I say, these were from an old show, so we don't do these fabrics anymore. We've got loads of beautiful fabrics there to choose from. And then this one, obviously, this is today's, that we have got the fabric for. We've bundled it, and you can buy it in the half metre. It's lovely, isn't it? I mean, you can make it plain if you wanted to. You don't need to do that, because, look, this is where the other rest of the fabric goes. Oh! Nice. Right, let's start. Let's get started. Let's get started. Otherwise, we'll never get going on this one, will we? How do I make this, please? OK. Um, okay. With the box of frames, you have to draft your own pattern to go with clip frames. Yes. So the instructions detail how to draft your own pattern. Yeah. Can I sorry to interrupt? You also get, I'll get them for you in a second, you also get the instructions. When you buy the bo box of ten of these, you get the instructions look. So you, I, I, I'll, um, I'll get Jay to bring it over and I'll show you the instructions in a second. Right, sorry Joe. sorry. OK, so... This is my method for drafting a pattern. I always start with two parallel lines towards the top of the page that are two inches apart. I like right. that And then I mark a central line using a ruler. Right. And the reason I approach the pattern this way is if you just made a template that went straight from the sides, was this width, and straight down, you wouldn't have any body, there wouldn't be much room inside the purse, it would be very flat. So I start like this, and then draw around, position the frame on the top line, so centre up that centre line, and I'm just going to draw around. The so this is the, the same for whichever class. So if you would, oh, I haven't got the class here, but if you were doing one of the other classes, it's exactly the same technique with any of the clasps. It is. Yeah. I've just realised I'm going oh. to flip this over. I haven't got quite enough room for this size of purse, so I'll do it again. I'll draw my two-inch lines. I'd better get it. Otherwise, it makes the next bit quite tricky to explain. Oh, OK. Without being able to show it. Yeah. There you go. So why... So, so you're drawing the lines at the top of the page or the bottom... Oh, you've gone lower down, have you? Oh, no, no, um, you've gone higher. Okay, sorry. I didn't see you do the first one. Over 100 people have checked out the purse clasps already, just so you know. Right, so I'll start this again. What's that? Oh, I see, I see. This is I the see. centre line. So this will be the fold in the template. Right, OK. So you can do with a wider one like this, the smaller ones. I'd... OK, let me just get a smaller one. Go any further, so just turn back over to this side. So the, for that one, you could start in the middle of the page because, because... it's going to be little like that. But this one, because it's a bigger one, you've just started further across, so there's room to draw your pattern on. Got yes. you now. Got you. Got you. Because I need, from the centre line, I need to be able to put in the width of the purse yes. frame. And I wouldn't have yes. with this in the centre. So I'm going to centre that up again and draw around the shoulder of the frame. So I've okay. got that. And then I'm going to, on this line, I'm going to mark the width of the frame. And this, we'll cut this down, but this angle here is just to give us the shaping on the shoulder of the purse. Oh, OK. So now I want to line up the Jill's shoulder... Jill's bought the clasps. She's off to work now. She's got the clasps. <laughs> she can go now. Yeah. Make sure you watch later, jo, uh, Jill, to see how Joe makes it. Right. So now I'm lining up that point on the bottom line with the shoulder, the traced shoulder of the purse here. Right. And this just gives me the angle for the sides here to create that body later. And then I'm going to put the frame back on and just pivot it round and mark 
where the hinge finishes and then I'm going to mark a generous sort of quarter of an inch there. And this will be the corner of the template. Uh, morning back, just back from a brisk walk. Ordered the snap to it bundle, what a great price. Now sitting down with a cup of tea. Lots of love, Penny. Thank you, Penny. Uh, Mike, the reason we're not measuring around the whole handle is we're only doing half the pattern because it's on a fold. So then from the mark I've made from pivoting that round, that's where the hinge was, that extra seam allowance. I'm just going straight down vertically, yeah. use that line to work it out. And then from there, that's the top. This should be pretty much the same. Oh, no, I've done a different angle on them. But that will give you the top of your... OK, Ma Director Mike's a bit confused. Just ask, ask your question, Mike. What was it? That line there is the centre where your clasp is. Right? So that, that's, just, that's just like that. So you've drawn round your clasp there. Then what you do, this line, he doesn't understand how you got this line. Right, OK. I've pivoted this around onto this line. I've marked yeah. where it finishes the hinge okay. and then I've marked out an extra seam allowance. Yep. So that's the length of the... That's the hinge turned round like that, pivoted. And then you add on a quarter of an inch. OK. And right. this no, no, carry on. No, because look, Mike, it's in a completely different... It's bigger than the handle. Anyway, right, OK. So this section here... Yeah. Once I've got the seam allowance in, this, this, will this fold is all explained in, the, explained in the instructions. It is, it's thing, yeah. all drawn out. So I've gone through all the. And there's the frame being pivoted and yeah. things. So if you're getting confused with all our, me, my interruptions, I do apologise. That's right. And it just right. gives you that angle. So this then will be folded into the frame and it just gives it a little bit more body and roundness yes. to the front, so you've got more room then in, inside your purse. Right, so that's all... It's always quite difficult to go through. The instructions lay it out and they're all really clearly yes. written up. Are they in your instructions? They are my instructions, Jess. So let's just put that on there. So, you can, so if you're at home, cos you're going to think that's, you know, kind of... That it's a bit odd that the angle's over here and the purse is over here, but as Joe just explained, it's going to be folded into there. Right. OK. Now, I've cut out an exterior and lining pieces. Right. And they, you can interface with iron-on interfacing. If you want it to be really structured... Ta-da! <laughs> you ask, I bring. Iron-on interfacing could go into... But which, which one would you interface, the lining, or would you interface the outside of the bag? I've done the outside, but you can do both if you want for it to be really structured and hold its shape. OK, so or... if you do, like, an evening kind of clutch bag sort of thing, you make it a bit firmer. Two ninety five the interfacing. OK. With you. Now, for this one, I've gone for something... like a little bit of pin tuck detail on the front. Right. But that's really easy, so I'll show you how I've done that. OK, before you do that, can you just explain how... ..how you did... Th this, uh, this here is the Tilda Shree fabric bundle there. Because we're not going to do these, if you cos you'd do it at this point, wouldn't you? You'd yes. have to change your pattern to, to adapt these. So what do you do to get... if you want three pin tucks going down it like that? Well, these are quarter-inch pin tucks, so I need to add half an inch for each one, so... Is that right? So I've yes, yeah. added to just the front, because there are no pin tucks on the back. When I marked out the front, I would have added an extra... Inch, what? And, inch and a half. Inch and a half. And if you had more, you'd add half an inch for every... Yes. So it might start looking, compared to your back, which is going to stay like that, your front's going to start looking longer and longer. Yes. And then this one here... Do we need to talk about the bow at this point, or is that cut going yes, later? Yes, I've put the bow on at this point. So this is just a tube of fabric that was the same width, and I basted it on in position, down from the shoulder, cos this is where the hinge of the purse yeah, is going course. to be. So just down a little bit, but bearing in mind the bottom will be boxed, so yeah. you will lose some at the bottom. And then I just put that tube across and then threaded this sort of loop. Okay. 
In so the any any adornment needs to be done at this point, not yes. later. Right. Um, you can applique something on a design at this point before you assemble a purse, yeah. because actually assembling the purse is quite quick. Right. Right. So we're going to do this. Yeah. Okay. So this this uh, this the bundle that's uh, this here is the one that Joe's using, and that's obviously the clasps up there. Right. Sorry, Charlie. Get on. So now if you were unsure, if you, before you wanted to cut into some fabric, you know, good fabric, you can always, especially if it's the first one you've made, mock up one in some lining fabric or scrap fabric and just test that it fits in the frame and you like the shape. I've obviously changed the shoulders and brought this one in a bit, possibly because it's so wide anyway. Maybe I didn't want so much roundness. Yes. I really should have checked that before I came on. Yes. But I'd altered that. But yes, I brought these um, sides in. But as long as this bit is the length of of this your class plus, plus your seam allowance, then it's fine. Yeah. OK, so you're going to show us how to do this feature now. Yes. So on the front, I've cut a strip, and it's the same width as the front of the purse, but two inches wide. Right. And then with a the ruler. So you can put it wherever you want within that... Uh, middle, that bottom section, as long as you don't put it too close to the bottom because you're going to box the bottom, and don't put it too close to the top because it'll get caught in the clasp. Yes. But, I mean, once you've sewn it up, if you think it's not quite in the right place, it's not difficult to unpick the sides and move the bow oh, okay. up and down. Yeah. I'll say which point that should... It's best to do that. I've got a rotary cutter here. Right, I'm going to cut from this corner, the bottom corner of, that will go into the frame. I'm just going to measure and cut half an inch, an inch and a half down from there. So right. An inch and a half, and I've just checked that it's definitely level with the top edge here. Mm -hmm. Cut straight across. And then I'm going to sew this strip to either side and add that panel in. But then so it's going to make your... F oh, OK. It's going to make your front bigger... It will. ..by putting the panel in, isn't it? But once I pop the tucks in, it will then be... The, the front will then be the same size as the back. OK, half of the bundle, half the stock of the bundle of this one that Joe's making, the fabric, not, not including the... I'm not talking about the class, I'm talking about the fabric. This bundle here, half of it's gone. Will you need the iron out? Um, I will, yes. Your mum sent in a picture. We did a, a show a couple of weeks ago, and your mum sent in a picture of a lovely quilt that she'd made. Well, she's made... She has these purse frames as well. She's what? And she showed me... Um, she has these snap frames and she showed me a glasses case she made yesterday. Oh, uh, she's prolific, your mum, she isn't she? She doesn't stop. She's, uh, yeah. She, she is a sewing machine. But she could make my, um... The quilts, because Lucy's not going to ever make them, is she? She could make my <laughs> quilts from our bedrooms. Right, I'm just checking that the <laughs> she's, not, she's not... I'm not going to no, drop Helen, Lucy. You're not being too <laughs> committed to that one. You're just checking what, sorry? That I've, the birds are facing the right way up because I wouldn't want to sew this bit on the wrong way round and have oh, upside-down yes. birds. Yes. And then I'm going to sew this onto the other side. So you've just got interfacing on your... Just you have, on, have you put interfacing on the green strip? No, just to make it a bit more flexible. It would be a bit chunky otherwise, okay. the pin tucks. Yeah. But once you've drafted a, a basic pattern, you can alter them, you know, angle... Instead of going straight down from the corner of the frame, you can angle them outwards, round, give it a well, rounded yes, bottom. You've done a pen, like a penny purse. Oh, no, is this the one I mean? We, we've got a tiny one somewhere, maybe I haven't brought it out, that kind of goes like that, like a real kind of um, circular bit on the bottom there. Not, obviously not that big, keeps in proportion and everything, but... If you've got any questions for Joe, don't forget to get them in. Web chat them in. There we go. I did it a little bit larger as well. Oh. Actually, I should probably press it first yeah, before I take the excess yeah. off. I'll let you do the pressing as I made such a mistake last time. <laughs> I'm terrified now when every designer says, could you just press this? I think, oh, God, if I do it wrong, if I do it wrong. <laughs> to hear about Lucy and I doing a so. So, uh, what was it? What do you call it? What do we... 
As in, we both had a sewing machine. We both made a block. I was watching. I messaged in. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I ended up being late for the school run because... <gasps> It was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Your points were spot on. Right? It was, yeah. well, after I'd unpicked it. Oh. <laughs> I did one and it was way off, so I went over there to show the fabrics. While I was showing the fabrics, I was quickly unpicking it, so then when I came back, and stitched it again. Right, so I've just pressed, pressed it flat, and then I'm pressing over the, here, each of these seams. Yes, because... I'm because... going to sew a pin tuck along okay. those. So Would you call that. it a pin tuck? I call it a pin tuck because that's what you call them in dressmaking. It might be something different in. Um, I don't know. I've always called them pin tucks. Oh, OK, that's fine. Yeah. Well, no, I'm, I'm questioning things now because... Um, Sometimes. One of the designers said recently, oh, so are you going to bag that? And she went, I've never heard that before. Till you said, I've never heard of bagging out before. And I was like, oh, that's all I've ever said. Yeah, I've always said bagging out. Yeah. So I've just pressed along each of these seams. Yeah. I'm going to sew using the quarter-inch guide on the foot, just a quarter-inch pin tuck along there. Okay. I'll take this excess bit off here. OK, uh, the clasps, half the stock, not just in baskets, half the stock has been checked out. There's hundreds have been checked out. OK. Not even halfway through the show and half the stock of those got... I told you at the beginning, they always, always, always fly out. Well, it's a fantastic price. You're getting ten, you can be able to make ten purses. You've got a cold. Uh, well, I don't know. Have you got nervous? Is it me? Is it just me? I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Is that why Hannah sneezes all the way here in the car? <laughs> Have you seen her arm? She's had a flu jab. Oh, is and it? And I had my flu jab. And it, I came in the next day and I couldn't really speak properly, but I put it down to the, her arms, like, all swollen up and hot. <gasps> oh, no. Well, now her mum will be watching and her mum will get, be getting stressed. Oh, she at work today. Oh, no, she's at work today. It's fine. Hannah's next-door neighbour. No, not Hannah. Hannah's mum's next-door neighbour watches the show and keeps Hannah's mum informed of her life cos I keep <laughs> talking about her life. And um, so the bit about... She said, did you know Hannah's got a budgie? <laughs> And then, but all the things I make up about Hannah, her poor mum will be, like, worried <laughs> sick now, cos half the things I tell you about Hannah aren't true, really. I mean, she's crazy. And she is, um, a lot of the things I say, but, you know, some of the things I make up. Now I've said that, I can't think of anything I've made up. No, no, they can shake. So I've stitched along either of those folds yeah. just to create two pin tucks. I'll give that a press. And if you wanted, you could keep that. I quite like it it's like that, nice because like it's that, just that it? hidden, like a hidden go day, isn't it, behind? A go day? Yes. No, I've not heard that. Um, we watched Strictly Come Dancing last night. I saw... Oh, better be careful what I say, because oh, lots of people won't have watched it. No, no, but the, uh, the lady from Casualty, her dress, her dress had go days in it. It's where you have... Um, a panel that's kind of hidden in, in the dress. Inside. And, yeah. Mm. In fact, I'm doing a go day. One of my um, pattern cutting shows is going to be showing how to make a go day skirt. How are we for time off? Oh, you're right, I'll pass you. Right, so I'm going to find, I'll use my template, the centre. Now, you can just leave it like that yes. if you want. Actually, I do some. But you haven't. Yours is a bit right. squidgy. I'll do some wavy pin tucks. Wavy then? Wavy. So what are you marking? You're just marking the centre points now? I'm just going to, yes, find the centre. And the water erasable pen can just be sprayed away at the end. Yes. Or you could just lick a cotton tip. Oh, can you do that? Well, I have to say, I've always bought the same, I won't say who, I've always bought the same make of cotton tip all my life, right? And they've always been sturdy and everything. And because you buy cheap ones, they just bend and things. Yeah. Anyway, the, the same make have now obviously made theirs... They're obviously cutting corners, and now oh. they break when you, you know. But I'm not saying who. Don't say a word. Oh, I wasn't going to. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go for... Sorry, I'm making decisions as I'm... You're going to go for what? I'm going to go for... Should I do an inch apart or three? I went for those ones an inch apart. Are you deciding where the, where the pin Although tuck is going to be stitched up? I might go for an inch on these ones. Oh, 
those along. Maybe I shouldn't be deciding what I'm doing as I go. No. <laughs> it's a Monday. Is it Monday? It is. I know, I was confused by that as well. Yeah, because this month I'm just working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So I'm a bit confused that I'm in today. So you've just drawn... And I'm just going to stitch along these lines and I'll fold those ones up that way and those ones down that way and just get sort of a wavy pattern. Oh, OK. I did that one slightly differently. Yes, because you've only got... Oh, no, there you have got... That's... So, those two go stitched that way, those two are stitched... Oh, no, you've done it differently on this one. You've done this one different to those two there. That's what it is. Your middle one's got a bit of a lip on it. Is it too? Uh... Sorry, what did you say, Hannah? OK. Right, so these ones will both go upwards, I think. So the middle one, you've got both of them going outwards. Is that right? Or both going upwards? No, both, both going, going upwards. upwards. And then this one, I'll put them both going downwards and it'll give it a bit of a twist, hopefully. Well, that's what I like about these purses, because you can do something different on all of them and yes, have a bit exactly. of an experiment. But also, once you've got that pattern shape for this one, you can, because you've got two of each one, you keep the pattern shape so that you can adapt it for the other one that you're going to make from that clasp of that size. So you have to start from scratch each time, do you? Yeah, I have sort of a, an envelope full of these patterns now. Yes. A filing cup, a file full of these patterns, you mean? Yes. No, scruffy old envelope. Lots of you putting this bundle, the, 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 this, the, cl the clasps. Lots of you, I'll keep you informed, I'll keep you informed as to how many, uh, if we're suddenly running very, very short, but there's hundreds of you have put that in your basket already. Try to speed up a bit. Do quite a few on this one. I thought I'd... You've only got three. Make this one a bit more intense. Intense. Yeah. An intense purse. Call it Little Paul. <laughs> He's quite intense, isn't he, sometimes? So that's one side. Oh, Just wow, that's lovely. Sort of up and down. Say that again. Right, this, this fabric bundle, there's only nine left. The fabric bundle that Joe's making, there's only nine left. You've got the other side to do Shall I carry on doing the other side? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know why you're doing it, because I know you hate the gluing bit. And you're <laughs> making all this bit last longer, so you don't have to do the whole of the gluing bit, aren't no. you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sad when you get to know people that well, isn't it? <laughs> I was thinking, why is she taking so long on this bit? I might just add some hand embroidery to this now. Yeah. <laughs> no, because we've got to see your box bottom. Oh, of course. So did you get nice presents for your birthday? I did. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's it. I did. <laughs> I can't think of a single one now. <laughs> I got a necklace. Um, well, I, I'm wearing... But you can't see it underneath this top. But I've got my birthday necklace on. Oh, that's... Is that from your husband? No, this is from my friends. I got, um... Oh, because you were now, wasn't it a joint party with with other people as well? It was. I had two. Well, there's a group of us, but three of us turned forty within oh, five wasn't days. Even, I wasn't oh, even. No, I just, keep, oh, well, I was going to say because I'm only thirty nine. You see, and I didn't <laughs> want to give your age away. You know. Yeah. Yeah, difficult to realise that I, I, <laughs> I'm 39 and she's just 40. So. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, so you got a nice necklace. What did you get from your family? Can you remember? I got some shoes. Oh. Did you pick them? Um, I... Made subtle hints. Made it clear which yes. ones I liked. Well, you know... It was um, Jay's birthday while you were away as well, do you know? 
Oh, it, I did know when I didn't ask him. Oh. It's, it's birthday present still. No, no, I've got my birthday present still on the dining room table. Need to wrap it. Yeah. Okay, on the right. last one now. Okay. Whew. I think I've done them all the correct way. Yes, that's worrying. And then once that's done, you can give it a little bit of a press if you want, but I quite like that. No, I quite like the... Um, the wibbly... The bam that's like bamboo. Then... Let's just make... I'm, just, I'm definitely doing this right. Yes. I'm not so... even disturbing you today. <laughs> no. I'm going to sew the front to the back. This, they do still fit. It's just that one's... Or maybe they do. Stretched up a size. <laughs> they do, honestly. Yeah. Look. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not questioning it. I would never question you. <laughs> I'm going to sew the front, the lining, the inside lining, right sides together, sew them, leaving a gap in the lining there for bagging out at the end. Right. So I'll sew these together, leaving the gap, and then I'll but sew... But you don't sew the... Do you sew the top as well? You don't sew the top? No, leave no. the top, because we're going to sew... Yes. ...them together around the top. So you sew down the side from where the clasp finishes... Yes. ...down, along the bottom, leaving a gap on the bottom, carry on back up to the way you've set off on the other side. Yep. I'm just distracted. Why? I'm trying to think about what I got for my bit. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I shouldn't have asked you. So my memory's gone now. Your mum made you cake? She did, she made me a fabulous cake. Yeah. It was all gluten-free and everything. It was. <gasps> oh. And I pretended it had all gone and hid some away in the cupboard and then I ate the rest of it myself. No! <laughs> Just, Helen, did you hear that? Well, when you work from home by yourself, you know... You, you, you need, need cake. A cake break is a nice... Um, yeah, a nice break in the day. Do we have a cake break here? No. We don't have time in our three-minute break. We're all so busy running around trying to get the set ready and help Jay and everything. We never, we never have time for cake in the break. Over 200 of the clasps have gone, just so you know. Just over 200 of the clasps have gone. The claspets, not 200 clasps, just clasp sets. Right. I hope you made enough instructions. For me? Yes. <laughs> they were not tell you. No. Uh -huh. Right, so now, so, so, and if this has come up a little bit shorter, it's fine. I'll just trim the bottom of the... OK. ..the back. But you don't leave a gap in this one. You sew the whole of this one. So all this, all the way around, yes. Oh, obviously not the top, but the rest of the down the sides across the bottom. Okay, make sure the pin tucks are following the pattern. Cool. Yeah, it fits. It fits. It does. In theory, the green one should be a bit longer. Shouldn't it? Because you've add, you added in... How much did you add? Oh, no, an inch and a half. Inch. Oh, no, two-inch strips, that's an inch and a half you've added in. But then the pin tucks are only an inch. So, in theory, the one with the green stripe in it should be a little bit longer than the back one. Well, that's thrown in there completely. It is. Now I'm trying to... No, don't, just keep sewing. So, the seam allowance of joining it, you lose half an inch. Yeah. And then... And then your two... And... Half... Two half inches. Is an inch. Yeah, it's too complicated yeah. for me. We'll just stay quiet instead. <laughs> there we go. And I believe I missed your elephant as well. The elephant's gorgeous that you made. Oh, he was on the shelf over there the other day. Somebody's taken him. He's run off to join the circus. There we go. No, she's not listening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. You're right. So, next job now is to box the corners. Yep. I'm going to box this one. So, we open them out and then line up the side seam with the bottom seam. Do you ever uh, draw a pattern with a box bottom in it? Because... 
do you, the corners the, taken yeah. out. Sometimes I do. Good morning, John and Joe. I have to say that Joe doesn't look her age. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but then she spoils it all by saying, I think you're both fantastic, you see. <laughs> so she, we know she's fibbing. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Thank you on her behalf and my behalf as well. Didn't say I look fantastic. Hang on, where does it say, I think Joe doesn't look her age? What about me? I think you're both fantastic. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> where did you say, where do you look 39? What? But you say, whereas you do look 39. <laughs> Blimey, if I looked like this at 39, I'd be a bit worried. <laughs> a bit worried. <laughs> right, I'm going to box across okay. the corner. So line up one of the lines. I want it I'm going to, an inch, so I'm going to, from the, not from the edges of the seam allowance, yeah. but from the sewn seam corner. So I'm just going to measure up. So it's an inch from there to there. Yeah. And draw straight across and I'll sew along that in a minute but I'll do the other one first you just keep looking at the clock are you worried no I was looking then to see what what um I keep moving this around and not making it particularly obvious what I'm doing we didn't there. go back and do a recap do you want me to bring the fabrics over here or we'll be all right in it. Okay, that's fine then. I'll tell you what, if, the, if you want to see, because I'm more interested in seeing Joe's uh, demonstration, if there's any fabrics you want me to show you again, just message into Hannah and I'll show you that individual fabric. I think it's more important we see the sewing. So. Okay. So I'm sewing across the lines that yeah. I marked on. When you... Um, Square off or box the bottom like that. Do you cut off the seam allowance or do you leave it yes. in there? Oh, you do. Although I will check before I cut it away, I will just check that I'm happy with the depth of the. You just used a pin as well. I know, I know. Oh, you've changed. I know. <laughs> but I quite like that sort of depth of corner, so I'll stick with that. Yeah. But you you before you cut it, check that you haven't caught anything in it. Yes. Because once you've cut it off, then it's difficult to unpick and. And also, if the seams aren't lined up, as well as you'd like, you can always unpick it yes, and redo. Yeah. Uh, the fabric bundle that Joe's using, the Tilda Birds on Lilac with the green, is it pistachio green? Um, there's only four, do you say? Four left, four left. So I'll trim away the excess and then zigzag across just to support, because we've cut through stitching. Oh, yes, Just of course. to support that corner. But before I zigzag, I'll do this one in the same way. Yeah. Should I turn that the right way just so there's something to see? I can see what you mean about the interface as well, just giving it that little bit of body as well. It does, just holds its shape. worried because we're not talking. <laughs> what should we talk little about? Paul, when, when little Paul's uh, producing, if it goes quite at all, like they go, talk, John, talk, talk. <laughs> but I quite like a bit of quiet now and then while you're concentrating and putting your pin in. Ooh, pins match my top. Yeah. That would, but would you, what did you wear to your birthday party then? I wore like a tulle ballerina skirt. <laughs> because... At um, 40? Yeah, well, I decided to dress like I was eight. OK. <laughs> for turning 40. <laughs> well, when else would I get the opportunity and, to wear um, one? A friend of mine, this is going back a, a couple of years now, she bought a skater dress. I didn't know she, what happened was she was texting in the show. It wasn't when I was working here. And she wanted to go to a party, I'm wearing a skater dress. And I said on air, a skater dress at your age? <laughs> anyway, then I saw her a few days later, she went, I never wore it. Oh, and no. I was like, oh, no. And then she said, I told my boyfriend that what you said. And he went, oh, I wouldn't have gone with you if you'd worn a skater dress. If you'd worn a skater what dress. What constitutes a skater dress? What is it about the design? Well, it's because the skirt, the shirt is short, the skirt is short and like a full circle. So it's, it, um, ah, and right. it kind of, it's got that fluty, like if you think about Torval and Dean. Oh, that's a skater dress. The, yeah. Right. Well, that's what hers was like, anyway. Because I have bought a skater dress in the past, and I didn't, I didn't know why. 
Did you buy I had bought one in the past and I didn't know why it was called a skater dress, but that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So. Um, please check out your baskets. Not that I... Uh, I just don't want anyone to miss out. I'm not adding any due pressure, I promise, but I'd just like you to check out. Oh, OK. Go on, then. That's all right. We're just losing Hannah for a couple of minutes. Can somebody go with her to check that it's not the flu jab, that she's going to be all right going down the stairs? Have you, have you noticed we've got those um, uh, things at the bottom of the stairs? I've, I noticed those before. It's, uh, we had the health and safety people come round, right? They couldn't find anything wrong with the place, apart from the stairs got to where Hannah and the director, Ginger Mike, sits and everything. It was, wasn't a banister rail. So they put, like, at the bottom of the stairs, they put those things to hold on to. <laughs> I'll keep walking into them, keep hitting my hip on it, because they <laughs> stick out quite a lot. My hips stick out quite a lot, as well as the handles. OK. So I'll trim those off and I'll just zigzag. Oh, yes, because you've got to zigzag this one as well. Please. Are we all right for time? Oh, yeah, we're all right. Sorry. You're suddenly in charge of time now as well. Tim, oh, you're all right. Zigzag. You can, there's this... I think. Oh, you can press that zigzag can, it button now. that one? Yeah. We had to show uh, uh, a show with these um, 680s. They flew out the other day. It's a brilliant machine. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to uh, get a new machine. Are you? What, 680? Or the 730? I'm quite, I like, like this yeah. one. Yes, I'm um, considering, cause, because I, I, I see all this quilting going on and patchwork and everything, and I think I kind of want to do it, but I haven't got it because I gave my sewing machine to Dulcie and everything. I am. Um, and I want one of these. But I'm kind of put it on my Christmas list and see what happens. I don't know why I put it on Christmas. Nobody buys me Christmas presents, so I don't <laughs> know why. I'd put it on a Christmas list, but, you know. I'm just hoping for the Christmas I think I've been good this year. It has been, yeah. Julie says, morning both. John, you always look gorgeous. Hope you're well. Thank you, Julie. All good. Are you well? I'm well. Yeah, good. I don't think I'm going to go for a flu jab now. Yeah. <laughs> no, Hannah gets us free because she has asthma. Isn't that yeah, right, Hannah? It's asthma, isn't it? Yeah, asthma, yeah. I just get mine because I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly. Right, I'm going to turn this right. one the right way out. Yeah. And I'm going to pop it inside this one so that the right sides are together. You can do it the other way as well, as you can. can't you? As long as the right sides are touching. And then I'm going to give it a pin at the sides. Mm. For a change. Don't give me the nod. Like, you can, <laughs> nobody can see that at home. <laughs> she went like this. I'm going to put a pin in the side. <laughs> <laughs> so just lining up those seams. And then I sew one side at a time. And if you just leave sort of a stitch with in front of the side seat, yeah. before the side seat, you just, it's just a little bit easier to turn it. Why do you do... Oh, is that why you do each side at a time? Because you're going to leave a gap? Yeah, and I just find it a little bit easier doing one side okay. at a time than trying to get round, getting to this point, pivoting with the needle through and then twisting Then jumping, it. yes. Yeah. Please check out your baskets. If you've got any of the fabrics, or it's in particular the clasp uh, set with the instructions. There it is, 1895. Please check out your baskets. Sorry, John, you don't look your age, 39, question mark. Age doesn't matter, you're as old as you feel. Like I said, you're both fantastic. Oh, Jane, thank you, I feel about 100 today. <laughs> After thinking, I thought I had a burglar last night. Oh, no. <gasps> Half past 12, there was the biggest bang downstairs. No, it woke me up, it was like, <gasps> like that. In fact, kind of... Anyway, I went downstairs and I'm saying, what, what would you do? Like, I went downstairs going, oh, you know, like... But if there was somebody in your kitchen, what would you, what would you do? And I said, how am I going to scare them off? And then I suddenly thought, I went down with just wearing my bed socks. <laughs> I think that would that be enough to scare them. It's because I, I said on Radio 2 this week, you sleep better if you wear socks. Ah. Right? It didn't work for Hannah. Anyway, sorry. Right, so I'm going to sew now. Yeah. Round one side, finish there, and then do the other one okay. as a separate scene. Anyway, there wasn't anybody there, and the cats got angry because I'd woken the cats up going down and putting the light on. Oh. 
And then, of course, you have to go around the whole house, don't you, thinking, well, there could be in this room, there could be in that room. So what was it? Did something just fall over? So they go, well, I don't, I don't know, because no, there's no picture falling off any walls, the cats weren't... Norm, sometimes Norman gets on top of cupboards and knocks things off cupboards. None of that at all, so I have no idea. Do you want to go back to straight? Yeah. Switch it off and switch it back on. And, so... There's a default button on there, but I'm not quite sure which one that one is. Uh, Gail says, Hi, John, which glue shall we use? Yes, because we won't get there, so I'll show you, Gail, my love. This is the glue you should use, Gail. Guterman, we, if we get to it... I'll get to it. We've got six minutes till the end of yeah. the show, Joe. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to dra drag this out yes. as much as possible, but no, I'll probably get to it. Yes, because this isn't... We, we had some other handles that had holes in them. You could put pins through the holes to kind of hold the bag in place, whereas this one's going to be a bit different, isn't it? So, With this glue, I'll just ask you this while you're doing it, do you put it on and let it go tacky? You can and... do. Um, glue in one side at a time. Yes. Um, otherwise, you, you want one side fixed in place and dry before you tackle the other one. Otherwise, you're then yes. sort of wrestling Spr with two gluey... And it, yeah, mess yeah. in, you know. There's the glue. 4 95 And you only use the tiniest bit, don't you? That'll last to do quite a few of your bags, won't it? You can also use this glue if you want to just um, glue fabrics to fabrics. You know, if you want to have a T... I'll show you the back, actually. Look, they've got a little um, T-shirt they're gluing a, a heart of fabric onto. They're just showing you this. You start off there with your glue, then you let it dry for 30 minutes, then you iron it, and it's, and it's fixed for, for clothes. Right, the bundle of fabric that Joe's using, which is the Tilda Birds on Lilac and the green, the pistachio line, there's only one of those bundles left now. Have you got to glue open if you need I've got it? got to glue okay. in the trolley, I think. Because the glue, you can use it not just for handbags. Like, as you're saying, you could glue um, on the front of T-shirts. But if you're doing a plique and you don't use Bondini, I suppose you could use the glue for that, couldn't you, and things like that? You could. And the bow on one of the purses, I think I put a dab of glue behind to hold it to into position. hold the centre bit, yes. Position. Right, there we go. Stitched around the top. I'm just going to cut... These just into the corners. And then I'll bag it out and glue. <gasps> you know. I've made a mess. Yeah. I've left a pin in. It's not very good. Oh. That's why you don't normally use pins, isn't it? It is. I can't find where I've left it, but it's definitely in there somewhere. You sure? I saw it. Or well, maybe I didn't. Never mind. <laughs> 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 Eyes are playing tricks on me. He saw it, he didn't feel it. I thought I'd, I, yeah, I thought I'd seen it, but yeah. obviously not. So I like to glue the back edging first. OK, so would you press... I would. I'd give this a bit of a press. In the real world, because but... obviously you've only got a couple of minutes left. So I'll just glue. Go for it. So you've just rolled... ..these edges to create that whole shape. Oh, you're actually putting the glue in... Because when you... Oh, don't look at me. Sorry, look at the class, because, um... The class got like a, uh, what would you call that? A, uh, not a ridge, a, a tunnel. A fun channel. Channel, channel, that's it. And, oh, there you go, you can see now. And we're putting the glue in. And you don't want too much, otherwise it will squidge out yeah. you know, on your fabric. Diana or but... Diana? Diana was a bit concerned that the, the nozzle would be too big, but it actually fits in nicely, doesn't it? Does. It does. And it's the same, no matter what size the um, clasp is, they've all got the same channel going through, the same size channel going through. So I've popped some glue in, and I'd leave that for a little bit just to go a little bit tacky. OK. Now, someone's asked... Well, it must be, because it said on the back of the packet, but I'll ask. Um, if you've glued something on, not this necessarily, if you glue fabric to fabric, is the glue all right to machine through? I think it is. 
Um, I'd have to look at the packet, but I think I think you Obviously can. Obviously, let's leave it to dry. Leave it to dry. Um, well, uh, it doesn't actually say on there, but it must be, mustn't it? I'll test it for you. Not right now, obviously, but I'll test it for you. You can sew, uh, stitch uh, cotton, denim, linen, felt, and many others. So it's solvent-free, washable, dry, cleanable. And if you do spill... Oh, that's another thing. If you spill some of it, if it does come out of the channel and spills onto the lining, you can... Uh, before it dries, you can remove it with a cotton tip and water. Uh, you can't take it to a very cold country and it doesn't like the frost. How weird. Yeah, no one, no. It says protect from the frost. Do not use at temperatures below six degrees. Okay. So what are you doing? You put the glue in the channel and you're just literally sandwiching your bag just into... Easing the channels in it and making sure that the seam in the side lines up with the hinge. Yes. OK, now, would you... Uh, there's a little bit here that hasn't gone in. Would you use a pin just or you use your fingers? I tend to use uh, oh, there fingers you go. or... I have a lot of sort of lolly stick type sticks yes. in a tub next to my sewing machine, so I tend to use those. Pop those in, yeah. and then leave that. So you then leave that for half an hour, and then once that one's securely glued in place, yeah. And if you've got any on the frame, the glue does just. Oh yes, yeah, so it says to wipe on. wipe the glue off within within uh, before it's dried, so within the half an hour. And then I do the other side once that was. Securely fixed in place. Yeah. You get sort of an idea of the finished purse. So do you always do the back first? I do. I like to sort of practice almost on the... Because I want the front to definitely, definitely be the best job I can do. I always do the back first just to get my eye in. Yes. And what happens at the bottom here where the... How long have I got... Are we all right time-wise? Um, what, what happens at the bottom there? Does the hinge it... just sort of sits on that... And where you've left the one stitch gap, it just gives it the ease to move round. It does. So that will just sit nicely over the seam. Brilliant. And we got to the glue as well. We did. Check out, check out, check out your snap fastening. No, no, your snap uh, fasteners because they're absolutely flying out. Um, Joe's back in an hour's time when she's doing uh, Le Quilt behind us there. Uh, in three minutes' time, I will be back with really gorgeous horsey fabric. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Here at The Sewing Quarter, we want to bring our viewers the best and most exciting opportunities to learn and expand your knowledge. To help do this, we will be bringing in some of the leading industry experts in sewing and quilting to help guide our viewers along the way. Such as Jennifer Taylor, Samantha Claridge, Lucy Brennan, Joe Carter, Angela Atwood, Karen Lewis, Rebecca Reed, and finally, Jenny Fox Proverbs, who is the senior editor of Today's Quilter and Love Patchwork and Quilting magazines. For this tutorial, we're going to be doing something called a tacking stitch. Now, it's very, very similar. In fact, it's the same as a running stitch, but this time it's going to be a lot bigger um, so you can remove the stitches later because it's a temporary stitch. At the back, we're going to go through the front. So if I go through the fabric first, so this time you can see that I'm making these stitches a lot bigger because this is just a temporary stitch that I want to be able to remove a lot easier. If I just do another couple of stitches for you. So what you'll be able to do when you get uh, at home and you want to remove the stitch, you should just be able to pull those out nice and easily. The leaves are golden, the air is crisp, and all along the hedgerows, animals are bedding down for hibernation. Before they settle into their winter slumber, this pair of adorable hedgehogs will be paying a visit to the Sewing Quarter studio, courtesy of Joe Carter. 
This Tuesday, Joe will unveil this brand new soft toy design. With a handy kit and plenty of expert guidance, you can make your own hedgerow hedgehogs at home. So tune in on Tuesday the 3rd of October at 8am and find out how it's done. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. So busy watching all the adverts, I forgot we had to get ready for the next bit of the show. We've got a special offer on at the moment. Now, I need to explain before you get to any slides or anything like that, I need to explain. It says on the advert that if you buy something from our web shop, that is if you go to the, on the website, go to the website, click on shop and you'll see all the different things. It has to be something that's from the web shop, not from the show. So it doesn't include the things that are down there underneath me. Anything that's been on air in the last 24 hours, it does not include that. But if you want to go to the web shop and choose something else, it's so easy to do. You go to the web shop and you spend £20 or over on any web shop purchase and you get these free pinking shears. What you have to do is put free one in the code, uh, in the little bing as you check out. It finishes tonight or whilst stocks last, but it does not include anything that's been on the telly that happens to be down there on the web. It has to be on the web, in the web shop. I don't know why I'm pointing over there. It's not there, is it? It's in, it's in the ether, isn't it? But it needs to be something from the web shop. Right. New fabrics, Jim Carner collection. Uh, these are lovely. These are absolutely gorgeous. I saw these when we in last Friday, when we prepped on Friday, and I said they're very essence of Gucci. I think the, the, and other designers are available, but I think these are very essence of Gucci. These. Let's start off with a lovely, lovely like blending fabric. Oh, do you know what this is? This is gorgeous. This is lovely cotton. This. This is horseshoes. On cream. It's more of a kind of biscuity ecro, isn't it? But I love it. I love it. Now, you have to come in close on this one because this is a very subtle um, print, this one. It is uh, Lewis and Irene fabric. You know how we love it. You know how good quality it is. You know how gorgeous the cotton is. Isn't that lovely? Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, normally, when Mike come, puts the upside, uh, upstairs camera on, I have to go, look at the pattern here. So I was getting ready to move my hand, and he's right up here this time. Yes, I know. <laughs> look, it's only 5 95 for half a metre. And that's just a taster of what's come. It's all... Well, it's called the Jim Carner Collection because it's all to do with horses. Oh. I didn't move. I didn't move anything. It was the camera that moved. They're blaming me for moving the fabric. It was not my tummy moving the fabric. Oh, yes, I hate that when you're on the treadmill in the gym and you're running along like that and your tummy hits the emergency stop and the whole thing stops like that. <laughs> oh, where shall we go now? Let's do Jay's favourite fabric. Uh, rosettes. Got it in two colourways. Got it in the blue, first of all. Oh, this is nice. I've got, I know so many people who are going to adore this fabric. This is Lewis and Irene rosettes on dark blue, 5 95 for half a metre. There's the uh, pattern. Uh, now you have to come, is it first, second and third? Are they all there? Where's Hannah's? No, I'm looking for booby. Oh, no, hang on. I didn't mean it like that. I meant first, second and third prize and the booby prize, not the Hannah's booby. I do apologise. Wooden spoon. Jane's going, wooden spoon, wooden spoon. Is that what you get on a horse riding thing if you come last? You get a wooden spoon. I think they're giving you that because you're just a stirrer, Jay, that's all. Anyway, isn't that lovely? I will go, I'll come back to him. I'll come back, I'll come back, I'll come back. <gasps> Where's what? <laughs> there is no booby prize for Hannah on this one. Right, I love, now that's the blue one, which Jay likes. I like this one. This one's on dark grey, I think they call this one, don't they? 
This is lovely. Look. Now imagine that. It's a bit heavy for a lining. At uh, 5.95, uh, Lewis and Irene, they were on a different channel yesterday. Lewis and Irene, rosettes on war, a warm grey, not dark grey, sorry, warm grey. Five pounds and 95 pence. Now, do you know what? What Hannah was just saying was a lot of the ladies she met at Festival of Quilts were wearing these colour schemes. The kind of golds and pinks and turquoises. And then the lovely warm greys. It's lovely, isn't it? Five ninety-five for half a metre. I, li I like that one. I like that one a lot. Right, OK, let me fold that one up. Doop, 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 doop. Lots and lots of like, 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 like. Right, where do I go now, then? This. This. This is real. I love this one. This one's called Gallop On. Oh, there's no on. Oh, no. Oh, I see. Hannah said to me it's called Gallop On. It's not Gallop On at all. It's Gallop on dark blue. But that was like when... Um, who was... Oh, was I talking to a friend of mine? They were saying, you kept calling this, this fabric pink, John. And it was, wasn't pink. It wasn't me. I went, no, it's because it was Tula pink. And it was like, oh, yes. Isn't that fabulous? I love this. Uh, Lewis and Irene. Uh, I think these are lovely. On wild horses, let me ride away. Do you remember that? No? Saturday mornings, that used to be on the telly. It was in French, wasn't it? Les cheveux. No, hang on. No, hang on. Is that hair, cheveux? One, chevaux and cheveux. Chevaux. Oh, I don't know now. One's hair and one's horses. Oh, Jay's nodding as though he knows what I'm talking about. Uh, Anna just calls it le horse. I think those colours are beautiful. I think that's really, really sophisticated. Oh! And they're all they're different prints, look, because those two gold ones are really close together. But those two gold ones are further apart, look. Oh, I love it. I think it's so elegant, this fabric. Go nice with a gilet, wouldn't it? There's no, there's no riders on there. They're just horses. They're like wild horses, aren't they, in that term? Oh, don't. They're singing... She's singing the um, Osman... Oh, who did it? Did, was, it was the Osmans did it, wasn't it? Wild, crazy horses. But when I was a dancing waiter in Barcelona, I worked at the crazy horse... <laughs> I was working at the Crazy Horse nightclub. Look. I've told that story before. It must have been with Little Paul. No, it must have been. I've definitely talked about it because he told me to be quiet and get on with my work. <laughs> Lewis and Irene Gallop on Natural. I think these are gorgeous. These two prints are just stunning, aren't they? It's a really lovely cotton weight as well. 5 for half a metre. Now, I haven't got as many of these to choose from as I'd had with the um, haberdashery earlier. Right. Now, I've got two fabrics left now. Just two fabrics left now. This one is so cute. Uh, is this not your favourite, this one, Hannah? Here we go, look. These are called horses, or horse on natural fabric. Natural's the colour, look, isn't it? Hang on. Riding boots and crop here. Oh, hang on. There. <laughs> so we've got the riding boots and crop there. We've got the rosettes there. And then the... They, horses' heads are in horseshoes. That's a traditional pattern, isn't it? But they've made it really gorgeous and ditzy. What's the... Um, there's a toy maker that do... I won't say, in case I get it wrong. But they do... Um, I know Alex, my niece, was so into them when she was little. Then she got her own horse and she kind of went off it. No, it was... Um, oh, 
What are you doing? Jude, at morning, I love your presenting, John. Horse in French is cheval. There you go, thank you, Jude. Oh, it's like, where, where do you live? Which bit of uh, Shropshire do you live in, Jude? No, only because my brother doesn't speak to me. Uh, he lived in Ludlow and then he moved somewhere else around there. Uh, and I've got, I've got lots of friends who worked in the film industry who are not retired, but they all bought their homes there because they loved that county. And it's on um, Escape to the Country quite a lot as well, isn't it, Shropshire? <laughs> right, OK, last one. Now, this last one is my favourite, right? This last one is so my favourite. The two colours they've used are very... I think it's going to be one of those fabrics you either absolutely adore or you absolutely hate. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'll stop banging the table. Um, because they've used a kind of mulberry colour and a mustard colour together. It's called Mount on Mustard. Now, I'm surprised Hannah didn't see this and see ladies in crinoline dresses. Because um, she's, we had one the other day with houses and Christmas trees and she thought it was Dutch ladies in period costume. I think this is gorgeous. I think this is really elegant. And I think the colours work so beautifully together. You've got the horses, you've got the saddles, you've got the horseshoe. What else is in that um, design there? Uh, oak leaves, oak leaves. Or they acorn. Oh. Um, no, I'll have to, you'll have to tell me. I'm not quite sure if they're... Aren't acorns from oaks, any? From mighty acorns? No, from little acorns, mighty oaks grow. Same tree, same tree, same tree. Uh, what they haven't got... Oh, yes, they have! <laughs> I was about to say they haven't got any riding hats, but they have got riding hats. <gasps> I love this fabric. I think the... No, they're not wild horses. They're those horses that go in the sand room and do dancing. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I think they do it in Switzerland, don't they? And you were doing an impression of it the other day. So they all go in a, in a room. No. They go into, like, a big stable that's got sand on the floor, and the men and the ladies that ride them are very smartly dressed, and then the horses do dancing. Like... No, it's not dressage. It's like a Swiss thing, isn't it? It's like... Not ballet, but, like, horse ballet, I suppose it is. They're famous. They travel the world. They're like big stars, aren't they, the horses that can do it? What's it called? Not called horse ballet. They do it at Earl's Court. What's it called? What's it? Hannah doesn't know what I'm talking about. What's it called? Yeah, she can't. Oh, she said it properly that time. Jim can't. She said to me, what are we doing on Monday? And she was like, it's something to do with gin. And I said, no, it's Jim Carney. She said, well, I can say gin. Anyway, I think this is gorgeous. I think this is so beautiful, this fabric. Right. Let's start doing some mixing and matching, shall we? Well, you want to do that one first? All right, we'll do that one first. We'll do that one first, then. I love this. Really, really love this fabric. Oh, oh, OK, I won't say where you live, um, Jude, but I guess my dad was stationed there in the RAF. Oh, hang on, there's a few colours. Right, these are the two I've picked. These are the two colours I've picked to go with it. So this is deep purple. Spectrum solid deep. You see, look, that's deep purple. And then I think that one's called, excuse me, lilac, isn't it? We didn't have a mustard exactly. It's not a mustard that goes with it. Really? That, oh, violet. Did I say, did I say violet? What did I say? Oh, I said lilac. Sorry, I said lilac. This is violet. Nice, isn't it? Isn't that, aren't they lovely? If you want to go in a slightly different... If you want to go in a slightly different vein, I'm just going to take those out and I'll put this one in. I think this one's mocha. Oh, it's nice. No, it's nice. It's nice. It's just it gives a different impression than the purples, doesn't it? Just 
having a look, see if there's anything. Oh, actually, if you use the mocha, and then is this Vienna? I think this is Vienna orange, this one, isn't it? Oh, mm. I see, I like it, but it's, that won't be only for everybody's cup of tea, that one. On your web image, your Vienna orange looks much darker. Oh, you see, I love that. This is a Lewis and Irene mount, this one. And this is Vienna orange on the Spectrum solids there. Oh, OK. Uh, please, if you like any of these horsey fabrics, I haven't got as much of this as I had of the um, sewing room fabrics earlier, but they're being very popular. So if you are popping them in your basket, you've seen all of them now. You have seen all of them. There's no, I'm not going to suddenly surprise you with another design. Um, if you want some, I would check out your baskets because there's lots of you, especially coming in for this one. This is called Mount on Mustard. I just think it's really elegant. I think it's really, really classy. Oh, now look, now Hannah likes fabrics like this. Now, from a distance, stay where you are, don't go close to, but from a distance, right? That's a really, it just looks like a, a, just a print, doesn't it? Just a print. But then when you're coming nice and close, look. Oh, let's just show the selvage there as well. I'll just move over. There you go. Actually, I can't, it's one of, those, one of those things as well, if you don't look at the horses, the mustard colour can pop out first, can't it? Oh, I love it, 5.95, half metre. Morning, John, lovely as always, fabric is very regal. That's a nice word for it, very regal. Oh. I don't know why I went ah then. I was thinking of, um, no, what's the young ginger prince called? Um, Harry, I was thinking about him and his Invictus Games this weekend. And when he did, I don't watch the games, I can't, I like pe seeing people running. But um, I just thought it, his closing speech was very uh, moving, that was all. Meg, Spanish Riding School of Vienna. That's what it's called. Thank you, Meg. What did I say? I said they were Swiss, so I got it completely wrong. Yeah, completely wrong. Right, but thank you, Meg, for letting me know. Right, let me just put those there. Gallop on dark blue. Now, I'll do, I'll, let me do this again like I just did with the last one. Let's do a distance shot, first of all. You see, it's... Oh, you can tell what that is even from a distance, can't you? I just think it's real... The, the colours in here, again... I think, I think whoever's designed these has got a real... Do you want to come close as well? Has got a real, real eye for colour, haven't they? Whoever's designed these for Lewis and Irene. Oh, actually, it sometimes has a name on the side. <gasps> I think that's lovely. Now, I will do some mixing and matching now. I thought you were telling me the name of the designer, then. Farley. It's threaded with love. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Um, Sarah, morning, John. Oh, I'm not reading that next bit out. Are you thinking of the famous... Lipizana stallions. Is that the Vienna? Are they the Viennese? I'm thinking of Viennese worlds now. I've said Vienna. Um, I think I am. I think I am. I don't, I don't know. Um, all I'm thinking is they do horses and the people riding them are very smartly dressed with white trousers on and they do dancing, don't they? Uh, shall we do some mixing and matching of colour? Right, OK. I think this is dark blue rather than navy blue. Could do, have you got an net crew over there in plain? That's, oh, no, this might work. This is an, oh, no, is this, is this crew that I've got here? Yeah. So this is crew. That's, oh, we'll do crew first. I could do with a mustard, jar. oh, I know, that, that's spot on, Mike. Let's try that spot on. Spot on, darling, spot on. So that's crew. That's... Dark blue. That one's dark blue. I'm staying with very traditional mixes, aren't I, with these? You see, and then that's the sand spot on. 
Yeah, that's dark blue. That's ecru. That's obviously the um, gallop. And that sand spot on there. That's, I think that one's a bit too yellow. Yeah, that one's too yellow. Don't worry, I'm talking to myself. Vienna, or Vienna orange, will that look nice? Oh that, oh, that might look quite nice as well. Hang on, let me take... Right, I'm going to take the spot on out and put that there, and I'm going to put Vienna orange with it now as well. I know it doesn't... It's not a matching colour, but that's, that would look nice as well, wouldn't it? Oh. You right, Joe? So that's Vienna orange across the bottom. That is the Lewis and Irene Gallop on dark blue. It's nice, that, isn't it? OK. Put that back there. That back there. And that back there. Would you like to see the Gallop on the other colour as well? On the, it's, I think it was on natural, wasn't it? Or on beige or something, that like biscuit, cream. I can't remember what they called it now. Oh, well, I was right in the first place. Go with your gut instinct. This is the... Oh, that one. Yes, I've done that one. See, this... Let me hold this one up for you. So. You see, look at that one from a distance. That's nice, isn't it? And there we go. Just, you can feel the wind rush through their um, manes. What colour have you got there? What's that? I think that, that, that... No, no, neither of those. I want the kind of... I don't know what I want with this one. Uh, Jay's trying to make suggestions. He, he's put pale blue up. And then he put... Oh, is that the one you're pointing to? Yeah, but then one next... Bring the corally one over, but I think that might be a bit too... Um, let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah, that one works. That's nice. Is that charcoal? Charcoal. Gallop on natural. I'm wondering if I'd put the Vienna orange with this one as well. Mm, maybe. Let me take the grey out. Put the Vienna orange in. Oh, yes, I like that. Oh, I like that. I'll tell you what I want. I want a green, a dark green. Have I got a green? Or is that in my next show? No, like a dark... Leafy foliage green. Sandra. So I'm just taking everything out, right? I'm going to see if I can see what Sandra's saying now. Sandra looked at the fabric and she said, the mount fabric has got faces in it. The saddles are eyes. Oh, yes, I can see it. So you've got the saddles as eyes, the horseshoe as the nose, the little rosebud mouth, and then a pointy chin. No, but it's nice to see what people say. Hannah can't see it, Sandra. I've got grass green, have I? Here. Oh, no, I think that's... Is that from earlier, the grass green? Oh, you're right, you're right, right, but it's not the right green. No, it's not the right green. I need, it doesn't matter, it's fine. I just, for some reason, I'm thinking a nice, luscious green might look nice with this. Or a navy blue. Oh, no, it's not navy blue, it's dark blue, isn't it, this one? Dark blue, keeping it classic, that's nice as well. Or maybe, that's nice. Let me just put the sand spot on in there as well. No, no, not that one. Uh, I just think it's gorgeous, so taking that out. 5 95 for half a metre. It's just got such movement, fluidity to it, hasn't it, that fabric? It's lovely. I sort of want to make... Just trying to think now. If you washed it... You know, Janice, I think someone else has made one as well, <clears throat> like an infinity scarf. Because that, let me just... It just feels if... 
that I wouldn't use that colour for me because that would drain me. But um, I just think it makes it really lovely. Or I don't know how many ladies wear them anymore. But you know, the Queen always. Well, my mum always used to wear one, like a headscarf. Okay, so I've done that, that, that one, that one. Which one's next? Oh, the horseshoes. Yes, of course, this is... Oh, actually... I'm wondering if the horseshoes might go with the um, gallop. I'll have a quick look. No. Nah. So, horseshoes on cream. Now, this is going to look lovely with the... the oh, hey, oh, 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 oh. Now, this will be interesting. We've had so many blues this morning, haven't we? So there's this blue from this show. I haven't shown this one yet in this hour. It's not the dark, because I've had the dark already. Ocean. But I'm just thinking as well, I've got another blue one that I haven't shown yet from this hour. See, that's nice as well, isn't it? Is that um, aqua, is it? I don't know. Oh, uh, is that azure? I would have said that one was azure, but this is azure, OK. No, no, it's fine. I believe, I believe you. In real life, if I was colouring in, I'd colour in azure, that kind of colour, wouldn't I? So that's ocean, that's azure, and that's horseshoes on cream. But then I'm going to throw this into the mix. This one's got a little sticker on it, this one. Is this, um... Is it claret? I can tell you by the number. Uh, 51. That's nice, isn't it? Calaret. Then, another one I haven't introduced yet into this hour. That lifts it slightly, doesn't it? Pumpkin. Oh. Why are you finding that funny? Pumpkin, and then what's this one? Now, that's the one I thought should be called Maze. It's number 39. But it's not Maze, is it? Because that's Maze over there. This must be bright yellow. Bright yellow, this one's called. Anita, have you got a biscuit? Oh, the Ecru. We've got Ecru, haven't we? Oh, now, look, I'm really making... Look! This is Ecru. Have I missed a colour out? I don't think I have. Oh, no. well, I'm sorry about my creaky table. Yeah, that, that's... They're all my mixes for that one. So, ocean, azure, claret, pumpkin, bright yellow and Ecru are your colours there. And then this one here is horseshoes on cream. It's nice. Oh, what's the matter, Jay? Jay doesn't agree with my colour. Which one don't you agree with then, Jay? What are we doing that for? Right. OK, if somebody's going like this, what do you think he's like going, I don't really agree with that? Which one's wrong then, Jay? Oh, he said, no, no, it's all right. Maybe I'd take out that. Which one? The claret, you mean? The purple. He only does that because he likes saying purple. Will you take that one out, would you? But that's a big main feature of the horses, though. Yeah, you're in. Everyone disagrees with you, Joe. It's going back in the claret. Nice. We like. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Well, Derek says, if you say I'm going to sneeze, you don't sneeze. And it's never worked for me yet. What, what? 
Oh, yeah, and you didn't hear me at home, so it's fine. It was a big sneeze. Right, shall we move on to which one I've known? Oh, rosettes, we better do rosettes, haven't we? Let's do Jay's rosette first, the blue one. You can have a horse and carriage for your wedding, Jay, to take Daniel to the church. Oh, he's gone. He's gone, I thought he was here. Oh, that, no. No, he's not having horse. No. No, he's having the um, bus that they take the Liverpool players to the... Um, where do they play at Liverpool? Anfield Road or something. I've got Ocean, Ocean and Azure again in here. And I, and I need... Do I want the maize in there or do I want bright yellow? I think I'm going to want the bright yellow, to be honest. No, no, but that's even better then. That's even better. So, ocean, azure, bright yellow. Um, was there an aquary colour as well? No, I think that's... That's not aqua, was it? Maybe it's later aqua, was it? Oh, uh, oh, no, oh. No, no, I can't put that in there. What's that, a biscuit? Oh, a tissue. I thought it looked like a packet of biscuits. Uh, Natasha's obviously, when they were, she was staying away at the um, British Sewing Bee, she obviously was nicking the biscuits out of the hotel room because, you know, there's little packets of three biscuits. There's a few of them in the dressing room. Anyway, £5.95 is this one. That's the Lewis and Irene rosettes on dark blue. Then this is ocean, azure, and um, bright yellow. Bright yellow. I'm just wondering if you could really, really, really mix it up and put some different, something very different. Pass me the sunshine spot on. So I'm testing Jay now, because he's had two yellows to pick from there, and he wasn't quite sure which one he was going to pick. Oh, I didn't think, no, I think this might be the, no. It's the wrong yellow, it's the wrong yellow. So that's, that's my bad, that's my bad. Let me try the uh, primrose, is it primrose, that one? I'll just try the primrose, that might be two yellows. So. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Let me try the sand. No, no. Um, so no, these three... Look gorgeous. These three look gorgeous. Ocean, azure, and uh, bright yellow with your, with your um, rosettes on blue. Oh, a request from a customer. Can we see the horses on natural with cl claret? Of course you can. So, horses on natural is that one under there. Oh, hang on. Oh, we haven't got to that one yet. I haven't got to that one. This one. Right, now, do you mean... I haven't got a name. Do you mean this one? I'll do the horses on natural, because that, that, that's what it's called, isn't it? But it's the background's natural, isn't it? Yeah. So this is horses on natural. Sorry, I got that wrong. This is horse on natural with claret. That's one of the ones I would have picked for this, actually. Customer. Didn't, I haven't got a name, so I can't tell you who did. Yeah, that looks lovely together, look. So this is claret. This is a uh, horse on natural. I think that's that's really really lovely. <clears throat> I'd also consider this one, which is azure. No. Yes, azure. Is it? Let me just double check. Yeah. I, uh, that looks nice together. So that one underneath is claret or azure. Oh, maybe this is nice. Pumpkin. <sighs> nah. No, that one doesn't do it. Not doing it for me. Oh, but this one's nice. Now, this is one we haven't seen yet in this hour. 
This one's called grass. That's nice, isn't it? Actually, we've got ferns on there. Oh, no, fern was early. Or was, oh, no, the wrong colour, it's the wrong colour. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps, customer. I'm, call, I'm saying customer because it didn't have a name on it. I'm not being rude. Just by calling you customer. I wonder what that one looks like. Oh, oh, this is nice. Let me take those out. Leave the horses in neutral or natural on. And bring in, um, I think this one must be mocha. That's nice. Hannah's having a mocha with her lunch today. I'm not stopping for lunch today. Well, I haven't got to, I'm not in again now till Friday, am I? Oh, they look lovely together, don't they? But I have to be, I do like the claret with it. With whoever that customer was, I think my favourite colour is the claret with it. Look. Nice. That's the claret now that I've put in there. That's claret. Oh, Mary. Mary, just ring the call centre. They'll help you. It's free. It's free. 0800 112 33. Just give them a call and they'll help you. They're brilliant, the call centre. Oh, Leslie's got an idea now. Oh, it's not coming. Oh, the gold one, you could use... Do we have gold PU? What's that? Oh, I never got those shows. The gold one. You mean? Do you mean the um? When you say the gold one, do you mean the horses on blue? Oh yes, 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 yes. That one under there. There. Oh, you mean the mustard one? Yeah. Oh, I've never seen the gold PU, Leslie. Oh, yeah, no, I haven't seen that mustard gold. I do li like that, and that's nice as well. That looks nice as well, doesn't it? Yeah, the claret works with that one as well, doesn't it? Ooh. Mm. Gold PU. What do they use that for? What does it look like Kylie's... Well, Kylie outfit. I haven't done it now. Who did, who did that then, Leslie? Who had the gold PU? Okay, so let's put that one there. Right, I haven't done. There's one I haven't done yet. Rosette's on, on warm grey. Have I? I haven't done this one. I've done it, but I haven't done it with mixing and matching. Now, you know what I need? I need fuchsia pink. And I can see it over there. Is that in the next hour? Right, OK, let's do, start with the blue, first of all. We'll put the blue in, which is azure. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And so that's the azure. I'd also put the charcoal in there. Is that, is that um, fuchsia, Jay? Uh, which of those was I going to put in? No, not that one. Yeah. So I've got azure, charcoal, and uh, bright yellow. I'm just trying to do a mix. Oh, oh, but that one looks nice as well, maybe. That's claret. I'll just push that in a bit further. But you see, I'm looking for a pink. I'm, uh, Jay's run off with it now, because I can't check to see if it will work or not. Mocha. All these work, don't they? Thank you. Now, I'm just going to quickly... Sh let's have a look, see. If let's have a look. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Fuchsia. I'm, gi I'm giving Hannah an absolute nightmare today. Testing with her graphics and everything. That's fuchsia on there now. So, if you want any of these, azure, charcoal, bright yellow, claret... Mocha and fuchsia. You can make a really gorgeous. 
Oh, there was a PU Gold. Who had it? Oh, OK. Oh, you can't look that up. That's OK. No, no, no. Uh, I like, so this is 5 95 This is the rosettes on warm grey, and then these are the colours I think would look lovely with it. I'm wondering... Take that one out. Sorry, I can't see without the thingy. Oh, no, no, I'd keep the yellow in, I'd keep the yellow in. Oh, all the management team have arrived. You can hear them all arriving next door. Right, OK, that future has to go back to Jay, cos that's pressed for the next show. Thank you. They look lovely together, don't they? Really, really gorgeous to the... Right, let me start tidying up. OK, let's go back to uh, my one. Well, they're all mine, but, you know. They're all mine. I'm just tidying up as I go along, otherwise it'll get into trouble. Right, OK, mount on the golden mustard. Just need to double-check that one, cos it's selling very... very... Right, over a third of the stock of this one's gone already. It is beautiful, though, isn't it, this one? OK, so what I put with that one was violet and deep purple. Is that right? They're the ones I chose to go with this fabric, which I think are lovely. Deep purple or violet. Then we just had the claret. The claret looked nice as well, didn't it? Let me just put the claret on as well. Oh, yes. Let me just take that. Oh, actually, take the violet out. Claret, deep purple and that fabric are lovely together, aren't they? So this is 595. This is the Lewis and Irene. Oh, it's called they're called oh the designer's not called Farley, it's called Farley Mount. On mustard gold. Why use two words when you can use four? Five pounds and ninety-five pence. And these are spectrum solids. This one here is the claret. That one there is the deep purple. So this is in number one position at the moment. Then closely followed, I've got a tie for number two place at the moment. And that is the Galloping Horses on Blue. Galloping Horses on Blue. And I'll show them both, actually, the two next, because they're equal, even Stevens. And the Horseshoes on Natural. Or Cream, I think it's called, isn't it? Horseshoes on Cream. So I'm not saying put these together, I'm just saying these are in equal second place together. So that there is the Gallop on Dark Blue. This one here is the uh, Horseshoes on Cream. So I'll just take the Horseshoes and Cream off. Now, what, what did I put with this? See, I'm going to change my mind again now, aren't I? Where's the Ecru? There. I kind of want... Right, so you've got Ecru, Spot On um, Sand, and Ocean. Oh, no, actually, don't, no, don't take Ocean, don't put Ocean in, don't put Ocean in. No, I wanted the dark blue, so I put the wrong one in. The dark blue. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I just have a tiny bit of the Spot On shown there. So this, in equal second place, is the Lewis and Irene Gallop on Dark Blue. That's Ecru, Spectrum Solid. That is Sand Spot On, and that's Dark Blue in the Spectrum Solid. I'm not... That's lovely, isn't it? That looks really lovely, doesn't it? And also, if you cut that, if you're going to quilt with it, if you cut that, you could fussy cut the little horses, couldn't you? Nice. OK. And then, obviously, we've got to do the horseshoe one again, because that's in equal second place. And that had lots of colours with it, didn't it? Oh, excuse me. So this is horseshoe. Jay, yours isn't in the top three, your rosette fabric. It's very close. Right, so this is 
horseshoes on cream. 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 I'm just reading it, Jay. Tastes good. That's natural. It's natural. It's cream. <laughs> so. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's <laughs> claret. Um, where have I put azure? They look nice, though, don't they? Now I'm going to put a bit of azure in there as well. Azure. Then we've got the bright yellow. Then I've got Vienna orange. What colour am I missing? I'm sure there was another one I'd put in there. Was it? Did I put that one in as well? No. Nice, aren't they? Oh, Horseshoe is taking uh, uh, to overtaken. The galloping horse is into second place. So number one is still the uh, Mulberry on Gold mount. Then we've got this one. Oh, and another one that's suddenly racing up it, or oh, racing, into... Um, it's like one of those horse races, isn't it, where they're all jostling for position. Is the um, horse's heads on um, cream. Natural, um, but it's not called horses' heads, is it? Just horse. Multi-directional, this fabric. Now and then, this one looked nice with the claret. We decided, didn't we? And it also looks nice with the blue. What's the matter? What's she doing up there? Oh, OK. I kind of could do with a red. That's right. No, I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put the grass green back in. That's what we'll do. There we go. And then we haven't used this one very much today, have we? The, um, this one's the maze. Well, it works goes through the middle of the flowers there. Oh, does it? Oh, OK. My producer's telling me to take it out. Where's the mocha? That's the other one that would look nice with this one. That's it. There you go. So uh, if you're looking at this, this is the Lewis and Irene Horse on natural, 5.95 half metre. This one is claret. This one is azure. This one is pumpkin. This one is grass. This one is mocha. Nice, aren't they? What are you going to make out of them? Are you going to just do quilts? Are you going to make something to wear? Oh, apparently Farley Mount is a monument in Hampshire. That's this one, is it? That's my one. I do like this one. I just think it's very, very designer. I know their colours. I know they're colours that people might go, mm, no. I love those two colours together. I'd call that mulberry and mustard myself. It's nice, isn't it? And now I can see that face that Sandra could see earlier. It's a kind of a befuddled face, isn't it? Can you not see it, Hannah? These are the eyes. Oh, I'll do it up here. These are the eyes. That's the nose and that's the mouth there. No, the horse is the fringe. Nice. I can see, but I, if you look even further, I can see, if you see the, the mustard popping through, I can see the ge a genie face. There's another face there, look. Look. 
No, 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 but he, it's, oh, we all see different things, Fabric. See there, that's like a sheep's face. Can you see that? Eyebrows. Oh. See, look at that, that's a little face as well, look there. Oh, no, that's his nose. I think that's the end of his nose. Ha yes, Hannah can't see any of this, sadly. Mind you, it'd be nice to live in Hannah's world for a little while, wouldn't it? Only a little while, yes. <laughs> well, that's not very nice, is it? Hannah, I think you should... I'll, take, I'll tell HR, so that's two things I've got to take up, tell HR about, isn't it? No, he's picking on you. Oh, yes, I'm definitely telling about that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not... Is he in on it? I don't know if he's in on a Monday. I'm definitely in on a Thursday, isn't he? Uh, do you... OK, I'm just putting all these solids out. There's so many here. I won't put all the graphics in because you'll just... I'm just... Yes, but I can go through them. I can go through them with you, look. So, this is going to be fun. So this is mocha. Mocha, grass, pumpkin, azure, claret, most popular one, chocolate, which we haven't even shown you today, uh, maize, charcoal, violet, deep purple, dark blue, ecru, ocean, Bright yellow and Vienna orange. It's frightening, isn't it? I can do all that now. All by myself. Now, there's one point when she, she preempted me. Which one was it? Oh, no, I know what it was. When I went, this is chocolate. And I got to cut chocolate. She went, right, that's chocolate. And I was like, no, we've moved on now. In the graphic. Claret is this one. No, we, don't, we haven't done chocolate, because I haven't shown it with anything on this one. This is... Oh, I'll just fold it up for you. There you go. This is claret. It's a beautiful colour. Warm colour. Which went with a couple, didn't it? Went with the... Um, my Mount on Mustard. Looks nice with that. And it also looked really, really lovely with the... Um, horses... Oh, wrong way. So this is claret. Then this one is my uh, mount on mustard and gold. And that one there is horses, horse on natural. Don't worry, Hannah, we're finishing my horses in a minute because we're going on to Quilt As You Go in a minute, aren't we? And we've just got exotic birds. We've got Tropicana. Flamingos and one of Hannah's favourite fabrics ever coming up in the next um, six minutes. You'll be seeing that in six minutes' time. Right, OK, let me do a quick, uh, quick recap then. Is that right? Because I've only got three minutes left. This is... Oh, yes, OK. Right, just do this first quickly and then I'll do that. So this is Mount on Mustard Gold, £5.95. pence. Lewis and Irene Farley Mount. Gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really lovely fabric, that one. Before I go on to the next fabric, I've got a warning about the last hour. You know the, 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 the bundle that you got, the 10 clasps and the instructions? 18 95 I think it was, wasn't it? Graphics coming in. We're just checking baskets now, that's all. That is 18.95. Okay. Right, there's more than 40 people with it in their baskets. And how many had gone? About 200 and something had gone. So please, please, please be, please be careful with that. Okay, so moving on to Gallop on Dark Blue. Oh, actually, no, this is in number third place at the moment. But this is Gallop on Dark Blue. I do like that. 
I'll go through them all before we go, don't worry. That's Gallop on Dark Blue. It's very elegant, isn't it? 5 95 OK, very quickly. Uh, then I've got Horseshoes on Cream, Natural, which is very, very popular now. It's funny, isn't it, how they can have one popular all the show and then they kind of... That's Horseshoes. On cream, five ninety five, nice, isn't it? Then this one. Oh no, sorry, I was uh, sucking my lip at the same time. It's, it came out wrong. It is nice, not it's nice, isn't it? It is nice. Don't the management are in? I'll get into trouble. This is horses on cream, natural. They've all got lovely little fringes. They've all got a little personality, haven't they? 5.95, half metre. And then just quickly, I'll show you the um, galloping horses on... Uh... Oh, yes, there we go. There's the... uh, everything I've shown you is all down there underneath me on the internet, if you're looking on the internet. There we go. Galloping horses. On natural. They're, no, they're crazy. You're singing crazy horses now. She's singing wild horses. Now, there's the other one that Susan Boyle did, isn't it? Wait, wait. Wild horses. Like that one. I've got to go. Joe's here in three minutes from now making that. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air.
So much going on, isn't there? Right, Quilt As You Go. You love it, we love it, Joe loves it. Um, before I go on to Quilt As You Go, though, I've got to tell you about the special offer we've got on at the moment. Now, just to clarify, uh, if you spend £20 or more on the web shop, now, that doesn't include anything that we've had in today's show or anything that's listed down there beneath me. You have to go to the web shop, and, and so it's nothing that's been on telly in the last 24 hours, basically. You can go there, spend uh, £20 or more, put the code FREE1 into the... Um, when you check out, and you'll get a free pair of pinking shears. Uh, it finishes tonight or while stocks last. If you go to our website, all the terms and conditions are on the website as well. Right, quilt you go, quilt you go, quilt you go. Now, you saw that lovely one that Joe made yesterday, last night, for us. Here it is. Yep, here it is. So what's that one called? Hang on, that's the um, Hops Fair and Square. Fair and Square, Fair and Square. I've got th two others, so what I'm going to do is, before we go over to Jo and see how she does it, I'm going to show you the three that I've got today and then the bundles that we think you can make them with, if you wanted to, you could just buy them as bundles, and then we'll go over to Jo and let her make one. So this is my first one. Oh. Yes, that's all right. This is London Labyrinth. Now, yes, now this is the 8020 cotton wadding on the background, different wadding to the other two. Uh, that one's called a London Labyrinth. And if you'd like to have a quick look, this is what your London Labyrinth, there's only two of them, this is what your London Labyrinth looks like when it's made up. Now, we haven't got this fabric, I'm just showing you as in a finished item. There's another one underneath it there, you see. So that's London Labyrinth quilt as you go. Obviously, that's it. Fin that's not finished, but that's it's stitched. London Labyrinth, right? Then we've got which one of you made? Yes, that's right. Fair and square. I've got hopscotch. Now, what you can? Oh, I'll, I'll explain this in a minute. This is hopscotch. This one. it has got polyester batting, eight pounds and ninety-five. That's what it says on the on the on the. Yeah, what did I say? Polyester batting, not like Bollywood. Uh, let me show you this one made up as well. That's that one made up. Obviously, we haven't got that fabric anymore, but it's just that one we've made up in the past. That's hopscotch. And then the one that Joe's doing is called... Oh, hang on, let's get that right. Let's put that there. This is the one that Joe's doing. Fair and square, eight pounds and 95 pence. Now, what I want to point out to you is fair and square, oh, and hopscotch look very similar, but different. And they're made of the same wadding, batting. So if you wanted to, you get one of each and mix and match, can't even speak, mix and match them if you wanted to. Right, the polyester batting, you can mix and match them. Would you like to see some bundles? Let's see the bundle that Joe has already made. Yes, the one that's on the wall. Which is this one. It's called Tropicana Birds. What you get is you get a meter and a half of this, a meat lime, a meter of the tropical birds, half a meter of the others. So half a meter of the spot on, half a meter of the two. Um, oh, that's a nice shot. So four metres of fabric, four metres of fabric, 33, that's sunshine spot on, that's turquoise and that's pumpkin. Nice, that's the one that's hanging on the wall behind Joe. The one that she's making is the flamingo one, which we all know that Joy would love, because Joy loves flamingos. This one, you get a metre and a half. You all right there, Michael? Metre and a half of baby pink, a metre of flamingo, half a metre of black, fuchsia and... ..cheeky pink spot on. You don't have to worry about these because you get it in the bundle. You don't have to remember the names of them. I'm just telling you them all there. So that's the one that Joe's making. 
Now, this one is the one that's got Hannah's favourite ever fabric in. And uh, I can see why she likes it. So, what you get in this one is you get a metre and a half of the spot on. Aqua. Then you get a metre of this, which Hannah absolutely adores. Confetti teal, that one's called. Um, what she was hoping was that Joe, because we can't obviously cut into this piece of fabric, but if Joe had been making her sample out of it, there would have been scraps left over, and she was desperate to get the scraps left over, but we didn't cut it. But when Wendy heard her say, and she said, don't worry, we'll put it in a project for you. Then we've got antique white, is it? Bright yellow. Aqua are the three half metres. And last but not least, I've got this lovely bundle here. It's very tropical, this bundle here. Um, so in this one, you get a metre and a half of nautical blue, a metre of that gorgeous tropical fabric, and then half a metre of each of the following. Jade, Dampson, and Spot On Apple. Four metres of fabric, 33.95. Do what, what? Oh, th this is limited to start with. That's limited to start with. Let's have a look at the, the, the quilt that Joe's going to make as I go over. There it is, isn't it lovely? Now, Joe, for somebody who's never seen quilt as you go, what exactly is it? It's pre printed. <clears throat> um, batting, wadding, so that you've got your design to follow. Um, these lines are placement lines rather than sewing lines. Oh, so that's okay. the central one. And when you're piecing each of these sections together, you're actually going through all the layers. So as you sew them together, as you join them, you're actually quilting them as well. Oh, so you don't, it's not like you make a patchwork and then make a sandwich out of it. No, it's, it's quilting, all being done at quilt one as time. you go. Exactly. Uh, would you suggest that a beginner maybe start out see if they like quilting. But then it's a different... It's a different it, it is, it's a really different... You get a similar look at the end, but it's a really different, different approach. Different skill, isn't it? Yes, exactly. Yes. All right, well, I'll let you get on with it then. Are okay. the instructions in the back? Do you get the instructions you in the back? You get a sheet in that relate specifically to the pattern that you, you're doing. Yeah. But also you can go online and um, June Taylor do video... Watch our video for easy to follow instructions as well. So if you want to sort of build your confidence up before tackling it, you can watch I suppose you could well. YouTube quilt as you go, couldn't you? There'll be yeah. things on there, won't there? Okay. So first bit, cut out your... Because we're working on it a block at a time. Oh, I suppose that's what makes it different, isn't it, to... Uh... It is. This is one I've already made. Oh, okay. So once you've pieced all the sections together and they're quilted, at this point, before you join them, if you were a more experienced quilter, you could really go to town on adding extra quilting in each of these areas. Oh, I see. So when, when you've the... done it there, you've got all your quilting lines. But you could add more if you wanted, couldn't you? You could. Yeah, because I'd be tempted to do something in there. I think in this black with maybe a pink thread yes. would be nice. OK. Just checking your corners. No, somebody will complain about that. <laughs> right. There are two that are really good in that. But... There's two really good corners. <laughs> yeah, I think so. But then two, maybe not. Right. So, you, so you've cut your backing you out want, already. You want to cut out one of the pattern sections. So inside, sorry, so inside the quilt you go, these aren't individual already, are they? These no, it, are... it's a, a sheet. Yes. And you should cut them with an inch. If you're going to be... <laughs> this is from the side. Yeah. Had I have really thought I was coming on TV, so I should do this really neatly. Yes. I'd have cut them all with an inch border all the way around right, okay. with a ruler, but actually I cut them with an inch where they were joined, but yes. left. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And why is your backing bigger? It tells you to cut a 17-inch square for the backing, so I've just cut the size that they've told me. But also you don't want... You've just got that extra to, you know, to play with just in case. Things. But the finished blocks are 12 inches, aren't they? I should I measure one? I thought they weren't, but you can double check. Well, they're meant to be. Well, 12 and a half, so yes, it's 12. Oh, yeah, 12, 12 inches finished. finished, yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, now on that one, I noticed you just said the solid lines are placements. 
Yes. But there are dotted lines on yours as well. The dotted lines indicate a section that has to be pre-pieced. Oh, OK. So this top bit is a rectangle and squares in the corner. But for this section, you will have pre... I mean, I'll get to this in a minute, but you yes. will... No, no, I just, I just saw the dotted lines and I wonder what they were. But, yes, that indicates pre-pieced. So, so there are no on. stitching lines on the polyester wadding? There's no actual stitching lines drawn? No, only this, which shows only that there should you be. made but before, yes. but I meant as in quilting through. There's not, none of these lines are sewing lines. They're all placement lines. OK, brilliant. And also, very quickly, I notice you've, you're going to do this one exactly the same with the pink squares in the outside. But you could maybe swap them around and have the bright pink there and the black in the corners if you wanted, could you? You could. I tried to go for a different... Because I went for a stronger colour in these sections. I tried to do that one slightly differently. Lee. Right. Oh, yes, I see, I see. Can you see? Yes, but what I mean is you've done all of them exactly the same, but if you wanted to, you could have maybe done the top one with turquoise in the corner, that one with the um, pumpkin in the corner, and then vice versa all the way through, sort of thing. You could. Just a thought. You could, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you could do what you want, can't you? Right, OK, so, so you've cut that out with an inch around the outside and you cut your 17-inch square of your backing fabric. And... Because it's quilt as you go, you need to add the backing at this point. Okay. And then, with, so with an iron, it's fusible on the back. Oh, oh, OK. So, all the fluff I've left yes. all over it. Oh, terrible. Um, so with the iron and the steam setting, you want to just give steam shots. Just hold the iron on. Don't press down too much, but hold the iron on and steam shot because that will activate the glue. Oh, OK. And fuse. Right, so, OK. I didn't realise it stuck like that. Right. So they're stuck so together. So why have you got best press out? Have you... Best press, I mean, they advise it for all your pieces. <clears throat> Give these a press, a spray with starch and a press. The, then, because once you've started piecing on here, you can't press it for fear of catching this. Oh, so you of need course. to finger press things back. And if they're, if they're already starched, you will really get that crisp fold. OK, what flavour did you use then? I haven't got my glasses. So it comes in three flavours. This one is linen fresh. This smells like, um, you imagine, a really, really lovely laundry room to smell. It's a really fabulous smell, that one. So that is the um, Best Press Linen Fresh. This one is Lavender, which is always lovely, isn't it? If it's coming in. And you, you just literally sp sp squirt it... Sp Spritz it, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Spritz donkey fabric and iron. Yes. It doesn't make a mess on your No, iron it doesn't base. leave... Messages. Well, no, I, I've right. never had a problem. No, no, with no because in my day, we used one that had a Christmas bird on the front and your iron and your ironing board cover and the floor around your ironing board was all covered in as well. <laughs> if you don't want to scent, we have scent-free. Doesn't make any sense, I'm being told by my director upstairs. They're all 4 95 for half, a, uh, for half a metre, no, for the actual <laughs> bottle. <laughs> it's one of those days that I do apologise. Right, every day is one of those days. So, go. Shall I start? Yes. Right, with the... In this bundle, it's the flamingo fabric that comes in... The metre. Uh, in the metre. Yeah. So, I wanted to fussy cut... I wanted to use this as the central piece. OK. Um, so I got a nice flamingo-y design in the middle. Right. So, to make sure, if you're going to fussy cut these out, it's a good idea first to cut all your binding and all the sashing strips first, and then you see what fabric you've left over, and then you Oh, can that's cut. why you get... Cos you get a metre of that one, don't you? But it does take a lot for all the sashing strips that join the blocks, cos they're on the front and the back as well. You do need a oh, lot. Of course, so, yes, cut those yes. out first. This... The bird one is really handy in that the print... You don't have to think of which way up you're cutting the strip. Well, obviously. Because the... <laughs> <laughs> You've got one bird upside down. No, but they are. Some are upside down, some are the right way up. Oh, on the sashing. Yeah, no, the so sashing's no, fine. Yeah, so there's no up and down. Wouldn't, but some are upside down. <laughs> well, I wanted that one the right way up. Why is so that? It's a cockatoo. Isn't oh, it? so it's, I don't know. I thought, I thought that was a kookaburra. Let's just look at the back, though. So you've got the, so the other fabric that you've got. I'm just looking to see. Uh, that's the one you've got a metre and a half of. Yes. Is the light, the background, the, uh, the backing fabric. But then, now, so, so if you didn't want to use all of your um, 
bird fabric for that sashing. Is there any of the other fabric that's enough left over to do yes. your back sashing? That's all. Right. OK. So cut out your bindings first, then fussy cut your, tr your squares in the middle. Yes. And if you've got a directional print, you'll want to cut... Let's have an example. The strips that join the block. If you cut them out that way, you'll have, I mean, which, you know, you might be fine with the flamingos going sideways. Oh, but you might have to yes, think about, yes. with a directional print, which way you cut out the strips, the sashing strips that join the blocks. The flamingos are the only one that you'd have to worry about that with, I suppose, aren't they? And, or would, would now, Hannah's favourite fabric, would you have to, do, to decide? No, you'd be all right with Hannah's favourite fabric, with the, with the confetti one, wouldn't you? Was you it would, called I confetti? Think. Hang on, I'm just going to have to check. Now I've said that, I've just got to double check. Oh, yes, yeah, you'll be all right with... Yes, you'll be all right, because the flowers go up and down, so you'll be absolutely fine with that one. So just be careful when you're cutting your binding out and your sashing out that you get them going in the right direction, if it bothers you. Because some people quite like... Because then... Some people don't like there to be a right way up to a quilt. Yes, because you you, you're seeing it from every direction, aren't you? So, right, so I'll get rid of these two now. Put those to one side. OK, so you cut your first... It tell, the instructions tell you what size to cut that out, don't they? So you have all the cutting instructions here, mm -hmm. and for these triangles, you have to cut a square that is three by seven-eighths of an inch and then cut them in half diagonally okay. to get those triangles. Two squares, three and seven-eighths, cut in half diagonally. OK. So I'm just going to pop a pin in there to hold that in place. You do need to use pins. Yeah. And you've um, pressed, best pressed all these fabrics before you started, yeah? Yes, just to keep them nice and crisp yeah. and in position. And then triangles, you want to centre it so there will be a, a dog ear. It's dog ear, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, not a dog. <laughs> uh, now, uh, there's numbers on the... Um, there's no, there are numbers on the... Uh... Yes, I should probably do number So that's two. number one there. Then it says two, three, four, five. I, I suppose it doesn't matter which order you do those in, but you do, you do need to follow the chronologists. Don't do number eight second or something like that. I'll pop number two in position. I'll centre it up. And when pinning, you only have to go through the top layer of the wadding. You don't oh, OK, to go... you don't need to go all the way. And... Uh... Does it tell you what seam allowance you have to use? Though? It's a quarter of an inch. OK. Um, you really need to stick to that, because if you take more than a quarter of an inch, um, it will impact on the rest. It won't, just won't meet at the no, edges. No, of, co of course not, no. So that's probably the, the thing to keep in mind most of all. So I'll sew those in a minute, but that means I have to put the walking foot on the machine, so I'm just going to piece... These oh, yes, two long yes, sections yes. first while I've got um, the regular foot on. If you're unsure, could you cut that... If you're unsure of your quarter of an inch seam allowance, or if you're new to it, could you maybe cut that triangle a bit bigger and then it wouldn't matter if you've got your quarter of an inch seam allowance a bit off because then you've still got excess fabric to go over, or does it not work like that? You could, but then it obscures this line when you're joining these pieces, so that... You don't... Yes. You won't get that... Yeah. I mean, you could trim it down, but it'd be very awkward. You wouldn't be able to use a rotary cutter in no, case you'd have you to Yeah. OK, um, it was just a question. I was thinking, well, how could you get away if you did get your cutter? <laughs> That's not... I wasn't being rude. They're all going, don't be rude to Joe upstairs. Don't be rude. Thank you, Joe. Well, no more than usual. Aye! <laughs> oh, you've changed. No, I know. <laughs> I suggest you YouTube Joe's first ever... <laughs> 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 First ever show with Derek when they were doing testing shows. That's mean. Pardon? That's mean. So now, um, where you're sewing that, will you want to press that, those yes, seams? Yes, I'll, I'll give those. Is the iron on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't press the other ones because you don't... Because if you press wadding too much, it turns into, like, a biscuit... Yeah. ...kind of heavy... Like not cracker, heavy, um, it? stiff, doesn't it? Oh, we've got a question from... Oh, sorry, I've got Nigel, first of all. Do you get... Oh, oh OK. Nigel is Abby. <laughs> Hello, John. Do you get all six squares in batting quilt as you go? Watch every day before work. It's from Abby, kiss, kiss, via Nigel. Um, have we got one that's open? Have we got a, 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 a one, that, one that's... Then I can, show, I can show you, Abby, my love. I I yes, you do. They're all joined together. In fact, they come. 
looking that uh, uh, if you go, and the other thing is if you think oh well, that's a lovely quilt but I want one to fit my bed you could buy two three four five six and add them all together to make a huge quilt because obviously that's that size but you do get the six squares in each one there are six squares six 12 inch squares finished in each one so that one would be like oh no it'd be a bit more than two foot by three foot won't it because you've got the sashing in between but anyway I'm just right. No, made I had a mistake. Right, yeah, no, I had right sides together. Why? Well, I've look, I've joined it to the back. <laughs> That's the front. It was all going so smoothly. Would you like me to do that for you? It's fine. Um, should we? <laughs> I uh, need something to chat about no. now. Do what? I'll press this one. Oh no, I'm not doing any of your pressing. Do you want me to go to the bundles while you do that? Would you? Oh, I'll go to the bundles. Come on then. <laughs> Sorry. We'll leave Joe to it. The tropical greeny one, which was the most limited one. Oh, there's only two left. I'll do that first then because it'll disappear. Is this called Rainforest then? Has that got six of them on? He's doing this again. Um, so you get, what you get here is you get a metre and a half of the marine. You get a metre of the uh, rainforest and then half a metre of the apple spot on and those two. 33, £33 pounds and 95 pence. Now, should I put that one in my trolley? Because is that one going to go, do you reckon? Or they're not in... Oh, right, OK, there's, there's two left and nobody's got it in their basket, so I'll leave it out, I'll leave it out, leave it out. Just pass me that, Jay. Uh, Nigel or Abby, this is how it comes, right? Oh, you've already cut... Cut these two in half. So you get... I'll come round that. I'll come round there. This is what you get, right? They'll be joined together. Oh, you can't really see the thing on there. So it arrives like that. And then you cut it in half. And then you cut it across and across to make the six. But you get six of them. But it does arrive in one... Thank you, Jay. It does come in one big piece that you then cut. Right, let's move on to uh, Hannah's favourite. Oh, and it's the most popular. It is the most popular as well. So what you get in this one is you get a metre and a half. So this one here is for your backing. That's for your backing. That's posh backing, isn't it? You haven't used that anywhere else, have you, the backing fabric? No. So that's your backing. There's a metre and a half of that. Then you get a metre of this, which uh, Joe's used for the central squares and the sashing and the binding. Then you get half a metre of each of these for your other rectangles. Yes, yeah, so one of those would be for being round that one and then the other two are the rectangles. So what I would have done is I'd have that one to create the square around this one and then those two as the other ones. So that's that one. Then we've got the one that Joe's using now, which is the flamingos one. Get a metre and a half of the pink, this pink. So you get a metre and a half of the pink. Then you get the flamingo fabric. Then you get the lovely spot on. Then you get the fuchsia. Now, this is my own personal opinion. My own personal opinion. I think I might... I might... I don't know how to say this. I, it might, for me, for me, Hannah loves the black being in there. I wouldn't want the black in mine. I'd want a different... I'd, I'd like a different pink in mine. Hannah would keep the, the black in hers, definitely, definitely. So I'm just, I'm just saying, but to me, I'd get rid of that and I'd have another pinky, pucy, apricotty colour in there just to create the thing. But Hannah loves the black. But it's, you see, that's, it's, it's personal taste, isn't it? Personal taste completely. And then last but not least, we've got the one that's hanging on the wall. You get a metre and a half of the lime. You get a metre of the... Uh, I was going to say Birds of Paradise, but it's not called that, is it? Tropical Birds. And then you get half a metre of the other three, the Pumpkin, the Sunshine Spot On and the uh, Aqua. They're lovely, really beautiful colours, work well together, don't they? £33.95. pence. There's the quilt. Oh, do you want me to go through the, the quilt you go? I'll do that next time. I'll do that next time. The one that Joe's made there is called Fair and Square. Then there was also a Hopscotch and there was... Um, London, London, London Labyrinth, London Labyrinth. Right. Oh, Abby says, uh, thanks, John. Oh, buying it. Say happy birthday to Nigel, please. <laughs> I thought it was Nigel. Uh, Nigel and Abby are watching together and it's Nigel's birthday. So happy birthday, Nigel. 
on how old Nigel is. How old is he? Because, <laughs> you see, in my brain, I had Abby, you know, uh, as in... Abby from EastEnders, that's exactly what I had in my mind. Now I've got Nigel, you see. I've got a friend called Nigel, and Abby from EastEnders and my friend Nigel wouldn't make a good pairing. <laughs> but I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. I'll <laughs> dig myself out of this one. Right, so now, what happens if at home people haven't got a walking foot? Um, I don't know. I, you, you could give it a try with well, a... Well, no, I only asked because I did one of these with Jess the other day. And she hasn't got a walking foot. Uh, Hers was the rug one, mind you. Hers was the rug right. one, not the, not the quilting one. And she just said it was absolutely fine. But not everybody's got a walking foot, have they? That's all. Probably because you're working on a small area, there's not as much scope for things to shift about and have too much of an impact yeah. on the back. So I think you probably could get away with not having a walking foot. If you buy this sewing machine, though, the Elna 680, which is the one we're all going to get, which one Lucy's already got, the walking foot comes with the whole sewing machine. It's £999. Go and check it out on the website. We, we did, I did a show with these the other day. Was it with you, Hannah? Yes, it was. They flew out. Absolutely flew out, these. Are you all right there? Yeah, I'm just... Uh, it doesn't look quite right. But I'm sure it is. Did I'll you practice? Um, I didn't practice with the Did you let like Jay practice? No, should I give it a quick test? I'll yeah, see. I would. Yeah, it's not reaching the... Is it caught? Let's have a look. Oh. I think I might need another walking foot before you make your cup of tea. It's not going well for me this morning. Yeah, you're having a good day, sir. And you're in tomorrow. Oh, it's aren't because you? I've not fitted it properly. I thought that was all my fault. The optician, Sorry, Jay, it's her fault, not yours. Sorry, it's mine. The optician said I didn't need glasses. I'm not convinced. I've put that on incorrectly and stitched. Yes. My piece is the wrong way around. You've got what? I stitched those. I stitched, the wrong, stitched yeah. those wrong way, and you put the thing on the wrong machine. It's very easy to do, really. <laughs> it is. Just test it though to make sure. Let's have a quick test. There you go. Sir. Working like a dream. Uh, I don't know why, but Hannah wants a cup of tea now, Jay. Please. We nearly finished the show, and she's demanding tea. Right. Okay. So you've stitched those two together. So quarter inch seam allowance. I've just pre-pieced the bits that will go yeah. in these sections up here. OK. OK, so I'm going to sew these... You could just stitch those with your walking foot, though, cos you could do a straight stitch on a walking foot, can't you? You can. Yeah. I, I, I just... I'm not picking on you. I'm not picking on a... Right. I hope this Rainforest goes... bundle sold out. Now, when I... You need to reverse back over the first couple of stitches to secure the threads when you're doing this. Oh, OK. I like to start at the seam allowance and not at the edge of the fabric, because I like, the, if they can, the quilting to meet in corners on the back. Well, I was going to say, because on the, uh, whatever reversing you do on the front, you're it going won't... to see on the back, aren't you? So I like, if possible, them to meet... Oh, seams. yes, because if you went over, it means on the front. You wouldn't notice on the front, but on the back, you're going to have stitches... Stick, uh, you're going to have a line of stitches sticking out there and one sticking out there. So it's not going to finish neatly at each corner. Got you. But it's not that noticeable, either. Could you um, tie off if you didn't want to do reversing? You could. I mean, this machine has ties a knot. It has a button you press and it... Oh, knots. yes, that's right. So you could do that if you wanted to. That's why I want this machine. Yeah. Did you not put it on your birthday wish list? I oh, know, Mr. Trick Berry. Be Christmas soon. So I'll reverse back just to. On the um, walking foot, is there a quarter of an inch? You know, like when you have a quarter of an inch foot. Seam lets foot. Is there one of those on your walking foot or not? You have to... I always take... In fact, I'll check with a ruler to make sure. I always think this bit here, this opening here, marks the quarter inch. OK. I wasn't questioning that because it looks not quarter of an inch. I'm just asking. I'm just, I'm just going to check now just to... Yes, it is. Yeah. So that bit on the foot. The thing is, as well, once you get experience, like when I was in the heyday of, of being uh, making costumes and things like that, I didn't, I didn't, I could, I could gauge by eye a half an inch, quarter of an inch, three, five eighths of an inch. 
Uh, John, I have done about five of this quilt as you go, and although I have a walking foot, I haven't used it at all, and it works fine. Thank you, Jean. Actually, now thinking about it, I think on the video instructions, I don't think she uses a walking foot. Oh, OK. But... Oh, so you've watched the instructions, then? Yeah, at least twice. <laughs> Cheeky thing. <laughs> so I'll just pin that back yeah. out of the way. And then do the opposite side. This is number three. Yeah. We're halfway through the show. Got three pieces stitched down. Have <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, you got one already made? Should I go... For, right, carry on yes, like that. Yes, yes. Until you have this. I thought I'd pop the... There you go. Because that's all the same. Right. And then I've already got my pre-piece sections ready. But six and seven are the unpieced rectangles. Yeah. And so... So you don't... You haven't chopped away... Because if it was a normal... If you were doing a normal patchwork to make a normal quilt, you'd have, you'd have squared that off, wouldn't you? But you yes. don't bother taking those off. No, I leave one. these on. Okay. Although, actually, with it being dark fabric, maybe I should take... Maybe they would show through. You can't... See. Can you see? Did you chop these no, off No, I didn't or not? chop them on that one. Oh, no, you'd have to hold it up to the lightest light to be able to see them, wouldn't you? And you, people don't go around doing that again. Oh, look at my quilt I made! <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'll join... Five and six, are we on? Or six, six and, and seven. seven? Six and seven. So I'll pop that pin out. And pin this in place. But, yes, thinking about it, I don't think she does use a walking foot on the tutorial. The thing about this is your quilt blocks come together, normally, come together much quicker, don't they? <laughs> don't giggle. <laughs> they do, if you're not me. Well, it's not really a polar bear, is it, or anything like that? Because you're so it's... used to doing a polar bear and things. It's, it's not my area of expertise, really. Feel as you go. It's now, face. you know the Dachshund that you took... Last time we worked together, mm -hmm. you mentioned the Dachshund. Not, it wasn't a stuffed toy, it was a... Was it English paper piecing or foundation, foundation piecing? foundation piecing. Paper. That's been that's been announced now. It's been shut because you couldn't talk about it. Before, no, it was no. about to go into a magazine. Which magazine is in? Is it in today's quilter? Or Love Patchwork Love and pa Quilting. If you can go, is it? Have you put it on your Instagram page? It's yes? on my Instagram. Oh, if you yes. go to Joe's Instagram page, or you go to Love Patchwork and Quilting, she's done. I mean, all of the things Joe makes are just brilliant. But this um, Dachshund paper piecing. Is just, we've got visitors, that's why I'm looking over there to apologise. Um, incredible. So go to today, today, today's Patrick, no, Love, Love Patrick, Patrick and Quilting. Quilting. Love Patrick and Quilting, yeah. I think Hayley's got a new boyfriend. Is that your new boyfriend, Tess? <laughs> no, she said no, I wouldn't be going out with her. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Just some gentleman, handsome gentleman living with Hayley. Here we go. And because that's been been starched, yep. give it a nice press and it meets the edge where it should do. Yep. So I'll do the other side. OK. You see, cos I'd be, I'd be quite happy with all this bit, but I, it's the sashing that worries me. Well, I'll try and speed up. That's, I've got one, so I can sash these together. Yes, yeah, yeah. What, you can get that one finished? Yeah, I think so. OK. What time is... Yeah. You've got what, Hannah? Dovetail? There's no dovetailing in this. Hannah said, oh, are you sure? Because you've got your dovetailing bit. Well, I've got to match my points yes. here. That... Let's not be too picky yes. on those. <laughs> <coughs> yes, because two of these are perfect, aren't they? Two are good, two... Right. You see, this is when we need the other sewing machine going, because I could be doing a bit of... Oh, no, because I've only got one block. I can say, because I could do one for you, but... I like the sort of dual sewing. Do you want to do one? Yeah, let's do one. No. We're not doing one of your animals. That's... <laughs> with my big, fat sausage fingers, can you imagine? I did a message in, but I was Joanna from Cheshire, which sounded... And did we do, when we read it out, did we know it was you? No. <laughs> oh, you cheeky thing. <laughs> Did I go, oh, it's nice where you live. I'm from Chelsea. <laughs> I do <doing> all that rubbish. <laughs> there we go. OK. And then these pre-piece sections, eight and nine. And because I pressed the seams, because these seams automatically go that way, I pressed yes. these seams inwards just to help them. Oh, out. yes, of course, of course, of course. So I'll pin these and hope. 
that they line up nicely first time. We had one of those brilliant, um, I suppose you could use it for this if you wanted, like um, a Kimball tag gun. What was it called, Hannah? Tag gun. Oh, they f absolutely flew out. You know, micro stitch is called, where, you, where little plastic, you know, like the things that your um, clothes are held in by, but a really short version. It was to hold your layers of your, um, to base your fabric. That's really clever. And Angie'd said, that she really wanted one, so I yeah. asked them to get it in. It eventually arrived, and we had Angie in on whatever day it was, and they absolutely flew out. But for something like this, you could just... And they're tiny and very, very thin. Yeah. You just hold it all... It holds everything in place. You can stitch over it. If you're doing free... If you're doing free motion, and what's it called, when you do your quilting and you do swirly, like westerly, yeah, you can, you can sew over them, yeah. So, uh, do they all sell out? Yeah. I quite yes, well want them. While you're pinning that, shall I just point out the other two? Um, the other two. Right, um, the one that's made of the same... What thing? Hang on, I'm just making sure which one I'm picking up now. I can't... Oh, f f you're, uh, you're doing... You're doing fair and square, so I'll leave that one there. Now I've got it here. There's one missing, though. Oh, no, it's under there. It's under there. Sorry. <gasps> I, I must be catching. <laughs> okay, this is hopscotch, right? And they, that is this one. Obviously, now, if you look at the way it's set up, you could almost get and interchange them. You see what I mean? If you want to put them in the same quilt, obviously, the do same fabrics, you wouldn't do such alternate fabrics that. So that's the hopscotch one there. And then the one that Joe's doing is this one. <laughs> no, no, that was my fault, that wasn't Jay's fault. This is the one that Joe's uh, making now. This is the fair and square one. Oh, they're not perfect. Oh, they're you let me off. I put you off. I no, wasn't we, even no, talking you let to me you. off. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, last but not least, is this London Labyrinth. Now, this is a different quilt. You won't be able to mix and match this one. Keep sewing. Okay. Uh, this is the 80 20 uh, wadding, this one, batting in this one. This is London Labyrinth, and this is what London Labyrinth looks like when it's made up. We obviously haven't got that fabric anymore. I'll show you the pink one because I like the pink one. That one's eleven ninety-five, right? Okay. So this is the last last line of stitching then. For and this then it's block done. Now in real life, mm -hmm. if you weren't rushing in front of the television camera and your corners were that off, would you unpick it and start again? Um, yes, I would. You see? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yes, no, I would. Sorry. <laughs> Talking, you're thinking out loud now. Yeah, no, sorry. John, I wouldn't. I would. I would change those. Well, I think that the thing is, because you've got the stark black against the bright pink, if they were more patterned fabrics, you, you might not need to, because you're not going to see necessarily, but you've got that... I, I the did. black black there, you know what I mean? It's sort of... Um, if, you, if you want to do the sashing in one of... The, could you get all the sashing out of half a metre? No, the sashing... Oh, you couldn't. No, okay. there's a lot of sashing. I was just thinking that uh, maybe it'd be quite nice to do the sashing in the black, but um, and use that pale pink in there. But there's not enough. Then there's not enough. Thank you, Jay. Hannah just wants you to see her favourite bundle. It is the most popular. The other one sold out, but that the, 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 was limited when we start. It was limited when we started. This is Hannah's favourite bundle. So you get a meter and a half of the spot on. You get a meter of the confetti. And then half a metre of the other three, uh, antique white, yellow and blue. £37.45, and 45 pence, that bundle. Is there one... Oh, no, it's because it's the same colour as the brick. They put the... Now, who took that picture? I have to have a word with them, not to put the white one on the end. You see what I mean? You put the blue one on the end. Anyway, and then there's this one. Is there some of that bundle left? 
Yes, yeah, so there's some of this one left. There's some, that's Tropicana Birds. In that one, you get a metre and a half of the lime green, which you can't see there because it's on the backing. You get a metre of the print birds and then half a metre of the blue, the yellow and the orange on that one. It's pumpkin sunshine and uh, azure... No. What's the blue one? Sounds very busy up there. What's the blue one? Blue's not sunshine. <laughs> Turquoise, thank you. Right, OK. So now I'm, I'm pinning these sections to the lines where they should be and just going to zigzag around the side. Have we got time for yeah, me yeah, to yeah, yeah, do on. that? Yeah, yeah. Can I zigzag with this walking foot on? That's got 18 minutes. Oh, bags of time. Oh, I, I've, minus the bit saying goodbye and doing the menu and things like that. Lavender Best Press is the most popular so far. Now, you see, I would automatically go for the lavender one, but I have to say, I really, really, really like the linen press one, the linen room one. I'm not going to do what Natasha did. She did it, she thought it was a perfume, so she went, like, sprayed it like that and breathed it in. Of course, it's starch, isn't it? Don't do that at home. Let's move that one out of the way, because we've finished with that one. Now, you're zigzagging right on the edge, aren't you? Because you are I going am. to... And actually, this will probably be easier with the standard foot. I might swap over. Right, wait, what, because then... Just for speed. Yeah, because Jean just used the standard foot for all of hers. Just... I know, I might. Should and I... June, June Taylor. True. Should I swap to the standard foot? Will you be able to do that? Yeah. Yeah. She said, yeah, 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 of course I can. Yeah, I've seen where I've put it. <laughs> I was just worried I'd lost it then. Oh, no. See, because normally with the feet on this, you just click the bottom on, don't you? Because the walking feet, you have to, un have to unscrew. You do. Although it's quite quick to change. Mm? It's quick to change. Yeah. Well, you get it right. Yeah, if you do it properly. In here? Oh, OK. Helen has done fair and square. This was her first attempt as quilt as you go. Look, you see, she's done what I said. She's done different fabrics in the different sections. Oh, that looks great. Helen, that's lovely, isn't it? OK, Helen, um, we won't read out the message now because it's a long... It's a message for you, Joe. Oh. So she's going to say... We'll pass it on after the show. But it's a message for you. Is it nice? <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, it's a question about backing and stuff like that, so okay. I'll pass it on to you, Will. Yeah. thought she might be saying, why have you got that joke out and making this? I could do it better than her. I like... Cause that, was that four kits put together? So the Helen's can... quilt was... For, Helen's quilt four, four kits put together? Did I add that up? I didn't know what you said to Was me. it... She put, she put four oh, kits must, together. It must be, look, that... how many are there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So she's got 20... Mm, so she's got 20 blocks on there. Yeah, you can make table mats as well if you want to, but why would you have a duvet cover and table mats? <laughs> oh, no, I know. Things for your dressing table. Things to put your things on your dressing table. Um... <gasps> right, Caroline... At uh, some reason, your message has been chopped off after a very short amount of time. It's, Dear John, I can't cope without you till Friday. I've... And then some capital H and then nothing else. So, I've... I've... Uh, I've heard... I've hurt myself? No, thank you, Michael. She won't have said that. Anyway, I, didn't, I haven't got a second half to your message, but thank you, Caroline. Um, I'm, I'm not doing anything exciting. I'm going to the dentist in London on Wednesday. Yeah, they can, you can choose your music off the computer when you go and you have it really, really loud. Um, what am I having? I'm having a facial tomorrow. We'll have to... There's all... No, no, there's all... I've got all this... I don't know what it is. I feel like... I, like no, yeah, but <laughs> it's skin. Teenage skin. You know when you're a teenager and you can feel loads of spots coming through? I feel all a little bit tingly like that. Maybe I've got chicken pox, who knows, but anyway. Anyway, I've got lots to do, but I'll be back on... I'm in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Caroline, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I'm in. Right, OK, let's do this quickly. 
Okay, we're going to trim this block. Oh, yes, trim it down. Now, you have the lines. It's quite handy. You can line up trimming to... Is it half an inch all the way around? Let me just check just before I cut. And it is half an inch. And the lines from the pre-printed pattern extend outside. Oh, OK. So you can Why are you those. cutting it bigger, then? Because oh, no, I see. That sort of adds the filling to the sashing, if you see what I'm... OK. So it's not sort of empty. Yeah, cos I would automatically do that wrong, then. I would have cut it down to the finished... Not the finished size, but the 12 and a half inch size, then. Spin that round. And then the sashing, it sounds... At first, sounds a bit complicated, and then when you start doing it, it's really simple to do. You just got to remember you've got to get your, your back and your front are different, aren't they? Yes. So I've got my water erasable pen. In a minute, I'm going to draw on half inch lines. I mean, it's most helpful on the back, but it's just to do them on the front as well. So you've got something to match your raw edges too as you add your sashing. There we go. Right. So I'll take this and then. I don't need to draw on with that one because I can see the blue yes, line, yeah. but I'll do it on this side. While you're drawing that, you see the... Oh! Oh, it's behind the graphics now. There's, there's um, a Scandi panel on the wall behind Joe. There, you can just see the edge of it there. So many people have been asking about it. It's, it's, we've already done it, but it's also been scheduled for... the 8th of October. What day of the week's that? Well, hang on, no, it's the first, second today. So that could be with me next Sunday. You next Sunday? No. You doing that Scandi panel? Okay. I'm no. not, that's not me. Are we doing your we must be doing your Rudolph again before Christmas, surely. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm scheduled to do. Oh. Yeah. I know, I'm not um, you see, ugh, the schedule this month's all a bit cockeyed, isn't it? I'm supposed to because I normally do Monday and Tuesday, don't I? Or do I? I don't know now. Yeah, do the same as Hannah. So, are you in tomorrow, Hannah? So, I'm not in tomorrow. I bet you're doing... The... Oh, am I allowed to say what you're doing? Yeah, we've made an advert. It's gone out. You're doing a hedgehog tomorrow, aren't you? I, bet I that's doing... cool. I haven't seen the hedgehog. Is he, in there? Is he in there? He's on the table out there. Oh, I'm going to... Bring him out. Let's have a look at him so we can... Right, OK. So, you've done... Sorry. You've cut that down to your half-inch seam allowance. And then what happens? And now we need to... These are the... This is the casing for the back. So, this is a three-and-a-half-inch by 14-inch strip. Right. Press it over, starch it again as well, helps again. <gasps> oh, sorry, keep going. I've just seen tomorrow's um, helicopter, I nearly said that. <laughs> Hedgehog, I'll show it to you in a second. Oh, no, I hope you've got hundreds of those because that's going to fly out. Let's concentrate on this though, just for a second. OK, I'm just going to, the folded edge is on this side. The raw edges, I'm going to line up with this half inch line that I've drawn on. And then I'm going uh, to... that's a double strip, is it? It's a double strip. Right. So I'm going to pin this one in place. The front one is, is not, it's a single one. This is different to how I've seen sashing done before. This is... I think this is specific to quilt as you yes. go. Yeah. So I've lined those edges up and pinned that. So that one, the folded one's pinned to the back. And then this one, have I got the... I have got the flamingos going the right way. And this one, I'll pin this to the front. So again, that line's drawn on, so I'm going to pin that. And then when we sew along here, it will sew both of these into yes. position. I'll try and speed up a bit. Okay, so I'm going to sew along there. Okay. Join, hopefully, this the back casing and the front. I say hopefully, I will. <laughs> I will, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Got it on zigzag. Um, still got it on zigzag. Is it that one? Oh, it is. There we go. And we 
take it easy because I've got pins through both layers and yeah. I don't want to. And also you've got to take it easy anyway because you don't want to the underneath one to rock roll or anything like that. So I'm just trying to feel for the pins. Take that one out. Could you do it with wonder clips? Or would it not work with wonder not clips? Not sure. It... I don't know, I'd have to test it to see. I think there's a pin. Take that one out. I'm slightly worried about breaking the needle on TV. Been done before. <laughs> Has it? Jay's ready, standing by with a spare needle in case. Anyway, aren't you, Jay? Where is it? Out there's no good, Jay. In your brain, it's definitely no good in there. Take that one out. Oh, yes, because you've got pins underneath, haven't you? I have. Yeah. If you use the really fine pins, it wouldn't be a problem. Five minutes, Joe. I've got F with you now. OK. Oh. Throw these around. So there we go. So we've got the casing on the back fitted on. Yeah. And then I'm going to join this one to the other side. Just to the front one. Just to this front one. Because when they're joined on, the back will fold over and you can whip stitch that down. OK. You've got time to stitch that. Do, do, do the front one. Do the front, do one? the front one, yeah. Now, when you're doing this, sorry, yeah. to, um, just make sure that your seams line up. Yes. Um, oh, yes, because you don't because want you to want step pattern, down. Yes, no, you exactly. want the pattern to follow. Yeah, so even though you haven't got to actually match the seam seams because you've got the sashing in between, so it's not like you've got a corner to match or a seam to match, but you don't want your, your thing to kind of... Um, You'd see like if it was just a skew whiff, I think. That's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. I'm not in tomorrow, so that's the only plug he's getting. Yeah. And again, it's to the line, the half-inch line. It's not to the edge of the wadding and the block itself that we're doing the case, the, the sashing. I'll stitch this on quickly and then yeah. hopefully... you got a couple of minutes. And, but this, then, is the same technique for joining the blocks. Do them into pairs like this and then join them into the two-by-three block. Somebody's asked about the, the bundle that's made up this quilt here. I'll go through all the bundles again in a second, but that's the Tropicana Birds fabric. You get a metre and a half of the line, which is on the back, you can't see. You get a metre of the bird fabric and half a metre of the three, the pumpkin, the uh, turquoise and the sunshine spot on. Got three... With Joe. Oh, got three minutes, Joe, you're fine. Um, OK. There's the green, there's the lime on the background, you see there. Would there be enough green if you wanted to do the sashing in green on the back and just have the back all the same colour, or no? Enough green backing fabric? Yes. No. No, OK. Making all these suggestions, not no. Sorry, no. Right, OK. So there we go, so those lines yes. follow. Yes, yeah. And we've got that sashing joining the block. Yeah. If we flip it over, see these... This half-inch section... Oh, I that sort of see. Forms... So it fills. Because otherwise you'd have that awful two solid bits and a saggy bit in the middle, wouldn't you? You would, and, yeah. and it'd fall into squares yes, almost. Yeah. It wouldn't yeah. be a full... So thing. then that comes across there. And you can whip-stitch this down, or yeah. if you've got fusible tape, press that, and that's... Would fusible tape hold it if you put it in the washing machine, things like that? It should do, but... Oh, no, I, I, would hand whip, with I would whip stitch it. I might personally. do both. I might fusible tape it and then whip stitch it. We could it. just hold it into yeah. position and then. But yes, I mean, I like binding. So that so that goes between those two like that. If you've got and then if you've so, but if you then made it longer and longer, like if you bought like say three packs because you were making a bigger one, when you came to do this sashing, you would have to do that sashing in a much long because you'd obviously yeah. do it on this one. You have two, two, and two. So that's it for that, and then you just do the next two and the next two and then join together. But on... Oh, even on this one, you're going to have to have that one in between that one and the next batch down here. Your sashing's twice as long, isn't it? Yes. Because you've got to go the, along both blocks and everything. Yes. But it's the same system, isn't it? It is. And trim these down so it's flush on either end. And when you join the blocks, 
again make sure that the sashing strip lines up with the one below oh because that is so important it, isn't it, it? Yeah. yes okay joe thank you oh thank you you got to go down um you're back tomorrow because the hedgehog's tomorrow um I, I, I let me go and do the bundles thank you so much oh thank oh. you um, right, I've got the bundles. I'll start with Hannah's favourite, which is the most popular. Oh, it's been overtaken now, has it? Oh. You get a metre and a half of the spot on. You get a metre of the confetti flower. You get half of each of the other three colours for £37.45. pence. I haven't got the quilt she goes over this side. Do you want me to do the quilt she goes as well? I'll need those then. OK, so on this one, which is the one on the back wall behind Joe, this was the, the backing. You get a, this is now the most popular. A metre and a half of this, a metre of this, half a metre of the blue, half a metre of the sunshine spot on, and half a metre of the pumpkin. That's £33.95. pence. Then the flamingo one, the one that Joe was just making. Now, lots of you got flamingo in your basket. Make sure you check out, make sure you check out. You get a metre and a half of the pink for the backing. You get a metre of the flamingo for the quilt and then half a metre of the other colours, the black, the fuchsia and the sp pink spot. £34.95. pence. Right, the actual uh, quilt as you goes are... Thank you, Joe. Right, the one that Joe did at Fair and Square was this one. Uh, you get uh, six squares, six squares... On the polyester batting there, £8.95. When I say you get six squares, they're all joined together and you have to cut them to then make them. But it creates what Joe had on the wall behind us. Then I've got um, the next one, which is... Hopscotch. Which is this one. Uh, that's the same batting as the other one. So if you wanted to intersperse them with the one that Joe did, you could. £8.99. Remember, if you want a bigger quilt... Uh, you don't want it two foot by three foot, then you can buy several of these and still join them together. That's eight ninety five. Let me just show you what that looks like finished, because that's this one. You see now, you see the backing on this one. If you didn't want to do the alternate, you can just use the same fabric batting. So your back's all the solid colour, you see, and then the front like that. Okay, and then last but not least, now this is on a different batting. This is on the eighty twenty uh, cotton polyester batting. This one's called London Labyrinth. Oh, I've got loads to do. London Labyrinth. I'll go on quickly. Right, £11.95. Let's do tomorrow's menu very quickly. Very, very quickly, tomorrow's menu. Uh, coming tomorrow, hedgerow, hedgehogs, quilts galore, Tilda Fox, bundles, bundles, bundles. Fabulous day. That's Natasha. Right, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. If you go to the website, it closes tonight. It finishes tonight or until stocks uh, run out. What you need to do is go to... It's only buying things on the website. Have you got the slide there? You've only got the uh, things on the website. Nothing has been on the telly in the last 24 hours. You, say this again. There are other quilts as she goes on the website, by the way. Uh, you can get those. Uh, spend over £20, put the code in, free one. You'll get those pinking shears for free, um, either by buying by midnight tonight, 11.59 tonight, or until stocks last. So if you want those, but nothing that's been on telly in the last 24 hours. Right, I'm off now, and I'm not back until Friday. So I'll uh, see you. I'm on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Take care. Bye. The leaves are golden, the air is crisp, and all along the hedgerows, animals are bedding down for hibernation. Before they settle into their winter slumber, this pair of adorable hedgehogs will be paying a visit to the Sewing Quarter studio, courtesy of Joe Carter. This Tuesday, Joe will unveil this brand new soft toy design. With a handy kit and plenty of expert guidance, you can make your own hedgerow hedgehogs at home. So tune in on Tuesday the 3rd of October at 8am and find out how it's done. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.